Hey Sven, how you doing? And everybody who is like just just mooching around here waiting, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Like, like not a lot, but a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> how are we doing today? I pushed. I don't know why I'm singing that, um, just generally speaking. Because I can is a valid and just reason to do so. Oh, Shadow Mousy has resubscribed for a whole year. Thank you very much indeed. It's always appreciated. Thanks for being awesome. Ah, I'm just waiting for things to um, work. Game. By game, I obviously mean OBS. OBS has just decided to uh, to just run in emote only mode. How are we all doing? Are we good? Are you good? Are we all fine? I would assume we're fine. Throw some hands whilst we wait for the, the emote only chat to go off. This is automated, by the way. I could just type it in myself, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Throw some hands if you got them. And if you're a follower, you have them. I could literally just run ads at this point. But uh, I want to see how long it takes for like emote only mode to go off. In two minutes twenty. <laughs> beacons. Throw me some beacons. Oh, that is a thing that I should probably do. I should probably turn off Streamloops cards. Uh, actually, I don't need to turn off Streamloops cards because they're all basically at don't play if I'm with another hermit unless it's a a, a, a change of outfit card. So actually, I don't need to worry about that. So you guys still have control over outfits and stuff and noises and that I can ignore and stuff. Seriously, it is taking a while for um, emote only mode to go off. This is this is concerning. I might have to turn it off myself. I am unnerved by this. Oh. It's done it itself. Okay, never mind. It's finally done it. There we go. You can now talk like normal human beings. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so, right. Um, I'm in Impulse's shop. Um, I am going to be doing a lot of building soon. And there's this. This is Swift Sneak 3 books. I don't know how they got... I don't, uh, uh, except by being in the deep dark. I don't need to go to the deep dark. So I'm going to buy a swift sneak book for these are my 64 diamonds that I have obtained. And I'm using 10 of them on a book. Now, here's the thing I don't. I, why are we laggy? Oh, I, it might be because chat is having a problem or because I'm having a problem. I, I could be having a problem. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so the plan today is to help out Tango again. Um, and uh, me and Joe are getting kickback uh, Blackstone for it because I'm going to need a lot of Blackstone for my base. There we go. And... Is there genuinely no anvil down here anymore? I only wanted to see... Okay. I guess I'm going back to my base. I'm going back to my base. Um, and uh, I guess we're, we're checking out things. Uh, Tango's running late. So so we've got an hour of me faffing around. Um, so, yeah. You're late to the party. We're all late to some parties, mostly. Me, I'm late to all of them. Um, can you guess what I've been collecting? It's just a lot of it. Just a lot. Like, like so much. Um, uh, 
Just go away. I'd forgotten that was there. Um, yes, somebody's put shriekers in my base. I don't know who it is. Um, but I, I have that reaction on camera. Um, but I genuinely forgotten about that. That's great. Um, thank you. Let's see if I'm going to be able to put Swift Sneak on my booties. That, that is not, <laughs> I can't. So here's the question. It's on pants. It's on leggies. I don't wear leggies, but I might have to start wearing leggies. <sighs> okay. I don't actually have a lot of pants. Okay, let's make some diamond pants. It, but it's gonna clash so horribly. Okay, fine, we'll make some diamond pants. There we go. I've just realized that I'm probably going to need. I'm, I'm gonna need like mending and stuff, aren't I? Oh, let's go back to the shop and then go to the end. Shut up. Tarsarus has resubscribed for 60 months. Alice has resubscribed for 15 months. Hello to both of you. Thank you very much. Uh, MLDK has resubscribed for five months. And Shadow Massey resubscribed for 12, which I've already done. So, yeah. Yay. There are anvils in MP store. Yes, but there's not. Brain. Brain, think of the words. Brain, think of the words. Ah, oh, spiders in MP store. <laughs> You don't know what... You just picked that one. Eh. Oh, yeah. Th this is... Mm-hmm. Pearl put the skulk in your base. You did it to everyone. That's fine. That sounds about right. Uh, right. I will need mending. Which is up here. Mending book. ba ba da ba ba da and unbreaking, probably. There you go. Those are the things that I require. Right, let's go to... Yeah, there, I don't know if that lag is caused by the fact that I'm streaming. Because it doesn't do that normally. Has Tango asked for help digging decked out? I don't know, I'm just digging. Tango has bribed me with Blackstone. So I'm digging for Tango. <laughs> I say bribed. It's just sort of like, I need a black stone. Tango says, oh, I've got some. Like, do you need help digging out? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, Socks has resubscribed. Uh, BTK has resubscribed. Uh, sorry, hang on. Let's do this. Like, I've, I've lost track of the time already. Cozy Park has resubscribed for two months. Uh, BTK has uh, resubscribed for 11 months. Socks of Dune has resubscribed for 14 months, saying that's longer than most of my sandals last. <laughs> Not surprised. Prizing. Hippo Kim has resubscribed for 16 months. Grim Shadow Blaze has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. If you look to your left and to your right, there are no exits. Um, and MJ Fellows has gifted five subs to the community. Thank you very much indeed. You guys are amazing. Like, like, genuinely amazing. And a bit weird, which I like. Can't go wrong with a bit weird. Right, so I definitely need at least... Oh my goodness. Okay, Moonbow has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. And something else just happened. Uh, oh, oh no, yes, yeah, something else definitely just happened. Right, okay, there's a lot going on today. J. Kells has resubscribed for seven months. Uncharted Dragon has resubscribed for five months. Sven Lu gifted five community gift subs. Moonbow has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. If you look to your left, to your right, you'll see no exits, but um, cake, probably. <laughs> Um, Jake Ells has gifted 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much. Very much indeed. Heart Online has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. If you look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no exits. But for you, there is cookies of the kind that you like. Oh, no. I'm not doing... Own, I, I, I'm not doing... Oh, no, oh, in... In that. I will get that uh, refunded to you later. Um... Don't do those on HHH days. So I'll refund that to you later. Don't worry. You will still have it. But uh, yeah, no, no, 
Oh, impulse raids. Oh, crikey. That, that's... Uh, thank you. Uh, Metro Salem Chip Biddies, thank you very much. And don't spoil raids when they come in. Hello, impulse raiders. I do appreciate you. I hope you had a great day. I have also had a great day because I'm here with everyone. Uh, Socks underscore off doom played sour. No, I'm not doing any of those things on HHH days. You'll get that refunded to you. I've told you that. Um, any the only thing, only cards that are available on non on HHH days are the ones that change stuff on screen. Um, Paleo cheered biddies is has resubscribed for sixteen months. Uh, Jay Archer has resubscribed for twelve months. Uh, Randy is resubscribed for four months. There's another great month. Molly Moosey has subscribed. Welcome to the horde. If you look to your left to your right, you'll see there are no exits. Push cheered biddies. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Got lots of stuff going on at the moment. Oh, crikey. Uh, intro Christine cheered biddies. Right, what we're doing at the moment is we are trying to get, funnily enough, um, I, I went and got Swift Sneak. Um... Because uh, from MP, so you know it, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Bone bites has resubscribed. Fergberg has cheered biddies. Thank you very much indeed. Right, um, we are. What we're actually doing is, as like aside from making pants, um, we will be helping Tango later on. Um, Tango said he's running about an hour late, which is fine. We we do that sometimes. We run late. We're human and stuff and 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 things. I'm I'm not human but i once was so that that counts um so yeah we, we're just uh, me and joe are just chilling out doing our own thing so uh which is fine everybody take a drink you are thirsty miss mina has resubscribed for 14 months mint biscuit has resubscribed for 12 months thank you for your message that's really nice of you uh russ never sleeps cheered biddies blue lily cheered biddies thank you um, digging for decked out too. I can neither confirm nor deny uh, anything that Tango does, just in general. Um, I am only here for the Blackstone. Granted, I did offer to dig first, and then Tango said, would you like some Blackstone? And I went, yes, please, because that's my entire base. Um, it's not my entire base. It's just a pretty good. Tasia your first drag performance. Oh, good luck with that. That sounds exciting. Da -da -da. Eat some pocky chubby. Blackstone or deep slate? Blackstone. Oh, crikey. Here we go. Uh, Fois Martelos. Oh, I need to... I need to scroll back. Hi, Cleo. Loved you in double... So resubscribe for two months. Thank you very much. Mint Biscuit gifted five. Community gift subs. Thank you very much. And Molly Moose cheered biddies. Thank you very much. Um, I, I I appreciate all your support. You are, you're great. You're great. Thank you. Uh... Everyone needs Blackstone for bases, this isn't. Because Blackstone's really useful. Um, but yeah, I, I'm getting... Like, Tango's going, I need to up production. Because, you know, if, if Tango like sells it, he would have made a pretty penny off it of me because I need, like, two shulker boxes for. And, uh, yeah. Intense hype train. We've always... We always have intense hype train here because we're wonderful. And that's how you know. That's how you know they're intense. Because we are wonderful as a group. Only two? Only two what? He needs workers more than diamonds. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Onyx Star Tree has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. If you look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no exits. All the Blackstone dot blew up. Didn't know dot blew up any Blackstone. So why zombies? Are you talking in general? So why are zombies a thing in Western media culture? Um... There, there, are, there are a backlash on the, the uh, people just going along with the status quo. And that's how movie, uh, movie people wanted to uh, depict the mindless masses. Just, uh, yeah, that's why zombies. I, I don't know what you're after. <laughs> Lucky for Tango, he has a bartering farm that gives him blackstone. It's true, he does. Um, but he's... <laughs> there are 13 shulkers up for grabs. Joe needs, I think, something like 800 shulkers of Blackstone. Okay. That was much better than I was expecting. I mean... 
I mean, film analysis I can do. <laughs> horror film analysis I can definitely do. I am a horror film uh, fan, so, you know. Do we prefer fast or slow zombies? Um, fast zombies are not uh, the same thing as slow zombies. Um, they are two different genre of zombie. And uh, I'm just glad we're represented, you know. You'd love a movie analysis stream with Cleo. I don't do that on camera. I just do that in my own brain. Um, shut up! Okay, I think we start with swift sneak, so I definitely have them on the pants. Let's check what bending is. That's easy. And unbreaking is six. Okay, that's that's the thing that we can do. That's the thing that we can do. We just gotta go back and get another level. Um Dracanally, I think. Dracanaly, Dracanaly. Has subscribed. Welcome to the horde, regardless. Look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no exits. Um, in the event of the stream making a crash landing, death is certain. Um, Ipo, hang on, Ipotina has resubscribed for four months. Thank you for keeping my sanity after having a baby. Oh yeah, I understand that. I haven't had a baby, but I do understand that um, they are a lot of work, which is why I don't have them. Ginger Jake will resubscribe for 14 months. Thank you very much. And still no exit. No, no, you see, that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes just do be like that sometimes. That was spider clear. That's uh, yeah, the, the skit right. So there there is difference. Um th there's difference between spider Cleo and spider girl Cleo. Um oh wave at scar so he doesn't pick me off in a in a drive-by shooting uh blagony is resubscribed for 16 months why leave when no one's no when when one knows they can enjoy death and murder it's not enjoyment it's just understanding facts okay so now i can put stuff on pants uh, uh, uh. People stuff is pretty. We enjoy people stuff. Scar has truly terrorised the hermits. I, I don't have to. Only Joe has to, really. I just do it because it makes me feel like fun. Emil has cheered biddies. Thank you very much indeed. It's very supportive of you guys. Eh. Da, da, da. Okay. Pants. Okay, I've ne I've not actually seen this on pants before, so Swiss sneak. Oh my god. Okay, without pants. With pants. Oh my god. Okay. Well, now what we need to do is mark. I'm never minding netherite again. We're just going to be stuck with Mitch matching gear. Um. Transarachnia has resubscribed for four months. Thank you very much. Kotohitsu has subscribed. Welcome to the horde. If you look to your left and right, you see there are no exits. Okay. <laughs> right. So I think what I need to do at this point is to take down the tree stuff that I've been doing. I'm going to need more iron. Life is so much easier when you've got on the right pan. <laughs> Chieftain has gifted 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. You guys are awesome. Do I have... I had a really good... Um, ho. Now I don't have any. I don't wonder where that went. Okay, it's fine. It's, it, it's fine. Let's... Get a bunch of this. I've got some iron. There is a crafting table back there. And let's open up my bed, to be honest. That's... We go to sleep here. Oh. That was a lot quicker than I anticipated. That's fine. Now you can just toggle on sneak permanently. How?
Do I sleep in a coffin? What? No, I'm, a, I'm not a vampire, I'm a zombie. Those things are different. This is my growing tree spot. You can see I lit it up because I was getting, I, I was getting really annoyed. I now have a, like a, a, ch a shulker full of warp nilium and that should be okay. Has anybody used my shop yet once? I haven't checked it in a while though, to be fair. So, uh, maybe. It's genuinely shocking how good Swift Sneak is. I know, right? That's just amazing. Um, Twilight has resubscribed for 11 months. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Paleo has cheered biddies. Studio Bravo has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. Um, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so HHH will be coming shortly, um, but, uh, where's my brain going? My brain had a but, um, yeah, no, I need to clean up this. I need to clean up this before I actually get started on the build. So, oh, look, there's that one block that I've missed. Um, Oyenda, cheered, thousand biddies. Thank you very much. Consumments to Double Life. It was fun. I had a lot of fun with Double Life. Um, I'm getting to the point where um, the people that are on like empires and stuff, I'm getting to know them quite well. So it's much more fun this way. And also, you know, the screaming. We like the screaming. I mean, I like the screaming. I don't know if anybody else particularly likes the screaming, but if they don't, you know, they don't have to watch. It's okay. We can't always be non-screaming all the time. Season nine is your first Hermitcraft. But it's, I'm glad to have you here. Hermitcraft is one of those series that doesn't always make a lot of sense, but it is fun, and that's the main thing. Oh, I need to go make another. Let's make. Like, I've got to get down all of these trees, so you know. Let's just let's just make like a bunch of hoes. You know. I don't know how many hoes that is, but six. It's probably going to be about six, to be fair. Yeah. Mindmaster has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. Blood for the Blood God. <laughs> and there was cheered biddies. Thank you very much. Blood for the Blood God. Skulls for the Skull Throne. And me, I just like some Capri Sun. That's fine. Are smart brains tastier than dumb brains? Well, um, here's the thing about meat. Um, the more meat is exercised, uh, the more lean, tender fibres it's got. But also, fat tastes really good. So, you know, it's it's kind of, you want someone smart, but not too smart. You know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Milk for the cornflakes, yes. Da, da, da. Pronouns are on the stream. They are in the tags. That's why I put them there so I don't have to keep on answering that question. Appreciated that you asked. But they're on the stream. Okay. The brain is not a muscle. No, but it is meat. You're going a bit too far into it. <laughs> Isn't this insta mine with efficiency and beacon? I've got an iron hoe. What makes you think I've got inf... inf <laughs> what? Had no idea you were a Warhammer fan. I am... I have read some Warhammer um, books. I do not play the game. I have participated in a 40k um, our, our role play game. I, 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 was, I was a feral welder who ended up becoming... Oh God, no, I'm not going to talk about D&D. &D. That's, 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 that's something you don't talk about random people who are just like, I don't understand what you're talking about. It sounds psychotic. Yes, yes it is. My vibes are immaculate. <laughs> Thanks. I am, I am 90% vibe. This is true. And you extra grey in your brain. I have a medium amount of grey in my brain. Um, veins don't gate metal for every brain is perfect for eating. That's true. Um, also, zombies don't really like brains. They're more kind of innards people, to be honest. That, that's, that's what they rip you open for. Brains are hard to get, and it's a lot of work. But, but stomach cavities, there's no bone covering those. Um, 
Which is why you see a lot of intestines in zombie movies. Like a lot. Like a lot, lot. 95 10% sarcasm. Echo. It's true, but you shouldn't say it out loud. Try Rogue Trader. Hmm. You're now hungry. For brains or for, for innards? I'm not a big awful fan personally. But, you know. Zombies prefer haggis. N no, 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 no. Zombies prefer their food uncooked. Any thoughts on the eye zombie throw? Yes, I haven't seen it. So, therefore, my thoughts are irrelevant. <laughs> Your Wednesday can't craft streamers is telling me to start scrapbooking my D&D notes. Always love the person who takes the notes in the D&D campaign. You are the favourite because when you start your next campaign and go, so what did we do? Because the average D&D &D has a memory of the goldfish. Um, you are the person that opens up their book and go, oh, yeah, we did that. We, we, we totally killed that small child. Um, no, just my D&D &D campaigns. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think we've actually ever killed a small child. Um... Unless it was funny, or they were an evil demon or something. What is D&D? D&D is Dungeons and Dragons. Learning D&D. <laughs> okay. Um, advice for new D&D players. Um, no D&D is better than bad D&D. If your GM... And you don't know this until you play for the first time with them. If your GM is doing stuff that is weird, just don't, 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 don't let them get away with it. Some GMs are like that and it's, and it's weird and I don't like it. Go with the flow. I mean... Don't be quiet because you're expecting other people to d do stuff with you, you know? I don't want to intrude is the worst thing that people with D&D can do. Have fun, don't min-max. I mean, min-maxing is a skill that I don't expect first-level players to have, to be honest. Uh, expect to die if you are, like... I don't think a, a GM should play where you start you with level one characters. You should be you should probably be level three, so um, you don't die by being sneezed on. Um, but yeah, don't never play D and D. Enjoy people talking about that, which is valid. That's valid. You you don't have to like do everything. Min maxing is nine eighty five. I I'm not I'm I do not like the fighting side particularly of D and D. It's okay. Um, I I I like the role playing side of D and D. So if you say it's like eighty three percent of the fun, that's fine. I don't like it. So when it push comes to shove, I get my best friend who is into min maxing to do my character sheet for me. Um, not like the role playing stuff, but the. Uh, the, uh, the, the stats blocks. This is a big tree. Granted, this tree is a, an amalgamation of like a hundred thousand little trees. You know? <laughs> you don't come to shop. You come to torture me, pushed. That's fine. I expect it. It's just rude. Murder hobo. I don't like murder hoboing. It's, it's just... It just feels like bad etiquette to me. Most people use DM and GM interchangeably. Thank you, Magnum Indy, for the for the biddies. Thank you, Emil, for also for the biddies. Potential mass for the biddies. Querty the Aliens has subscribed. Mad Humph has resubscribed. Emil Chid biddies again. Mindmaster has subscribed. Welcome to the horde for, to you and Querty. Um, thank you very much. If you look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no exits. I mean, unless you want them to be there to be exits, then I'll just paint an exit sign on the wall. Game master or dungeon master, um, respectively, for. How big was this tree? I went through like three pickaxes here. Pickaxes, they're hoes, Cleo, they're hoes. Just get a grip. Get all the grips. 
And if I get any of the grips, it'll be fine. We're fine here. The Wiley Coyote method of stealing the exit. Shh, it's a secret. Is B Dubs on? No, he's not. Who is that sleeping? I don't suppose it matters. I'm just shocked when somebody other than B Dubs sleeps. Did you grow these trees? I did. Um, like I say, this, this, basically these ones were just like, I put loads in line and then did it. And then I just figured out, you know what? I can just grow the tree in the same place and not have to worry about the blocks a hundred percent of the time. So that's what I did. So this, this, this tree that I just cut down is an amalgamation of all trees. Um, aside from those ones. You could argue the hoe is half pickaxe. I, I guess we could. I guess we could. That is an argument that could be made. I I don't... I, I mean, I could ask the hoe what the hoe feels about this. But um, I don't think I'll get too much uh, discourse from um, the inanimate object of the hoe. Not that you suggested I would. But, you know, I'm just... I'm, I'm pointing out the facts here. Eh. Thank you, Debro, for the biddies. Greetings from the UK and not the Netherlands. Um, I should probably put my, my, my diamonds back in the chest of many things. All right, let's get a box out. I, I don't actually want this. I've got like a box full of it already. You know what? We're going to pretend it doesn't exist. Hang on, can I? Was it control Q? There we go. I got 15 shroom lights from that one tree. 15. Hope you're staying cool in the heat. The, the, the heat isn't um, too bad down here anymore. Sell it to Joe. Why would I sell it to Joe? I could use it for, hang on, hang on. Can I use it for bone meal? Well that, that's different. I didn't know that. Okay, now we need to, come on. There we go. Right, now's the, the, the slow jaunt back to land. I did not know you could do that. Well, I used all my bone mill making their trees. Come on, I just need some land so I can fly from the land. Don't drown, Cleo. You've already done that once enough. Jump to jump and try to fly. It will work eventually. No, it won't. It might work for you eventually. It won't work for me eventually. Come on. Eh. Okay. So now I need to make a compost machine. Excellent. Shut up! Right, do I have a composter? No. Do I have... Oh, that's my blackstone storage. I have a hopper. I need two of those, really. Arguably, need two. Okay. Right. Let's put this back in my ender chest, which is over here. Looks like you need some convenient lily pads below your base. That actually is a really good idea. Well done. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out where I would put this. If I was to do this, I could put it up in the top shelf because there's nobody there. First things first, composter, which is some of these. Thank you. I think it's actually seven, isn't it? There we go. 
Right. So let's go upstairs and let's find a place to put it. Right. So do, do, do. there is a good way of doing this. So that's Blackstone. That is free. I'm, hmm. Nothing in here? Okay, that's good. So what we'll do is we will... I did not pick that up, did I? I did not. Okay, let's make another hopper. Oop. Right. Bakura has resubscribed for nine months. Time flies when there are no exits. And you got a Twitch baby. Paleo cheered biddies. Thank you very much. Leslie cheered biddies. Thank you. Mini cheese mouse cheered biddies. Thank you. Um, right. So first things first. Um, we need to. Right. Hmm. Get this out of there. Get that out of there. Let's get a hopper here. This here. And then that there. So what I can now do hello, uh, is grab you. Charge up. Du, du, du. There is an, another ladder on that side, so yeah. Right. So if you, what you're telling me is true, <gasps> it be true. It be. You guys are the best today. Tomorrow you might not be the best, but, but for those days we will live in hope. Did I know Joe before, jo before we knew Hermitcraft? Yes. Me and Joe go way back. And by way back, I mean the year before um, he got invited onto Hermitcraft. Joe... Um, Joe executed a, cue, a coup to get me onto Hermitcraft. Joe seized power and then got invited me onto Hermitcraft and then relinquished power. That's a true story. Um, <laughs> fact. Grayish milk jid biddies. Thank you very much. Chat helping hermits. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they're obnoxious, but you know, we can't have everything. Wait, what? Yeah, no, no, no. That's a true story. No decisions were being made. So Joe goes, you know what? I'm going to institute a coup and then I'm going to make those decisions. And then I'm going to have a powerful hand, uh, pa um, a bloodless handover back to group dynamics. Um, if nobody says that they don't want these people on the server, I, I, uh, before this person, I will get them invited. So. It was a Joe Junta. <laughs> That's good. Like that, JT. So, yeah. Um, because hermits are notoriously bad at making decisions. Like, seriously bad at it. We prevaricate. We Oh, we, we're terrible. Because we don't want to be the person... We don't want to be that guy, you know. The one that just makes all the decisions. So, yeah. So, so in order to just, like, just deal with things joe just went you know what i'm in charge i'm gonna invite these people unless somebody tells me that i shouldn't <laughs> does sound like a lot i mean it is it's exactly like joe because joe did that i didn't find out until this year that he had done that so me and mumbo got invited um because of joe's coup Great decisions. Great decisions. We all have great decisions. 
you just found out. Like, like I, I found out literally uh, about six months ago during a craft stream. Who else did Joe and Joe fight? Me and Mumbo, specifically back then. Me and Mumbo joined the server together. So, Joe did a good. Joe does that sometimes. It's weird, but he does. Joe is a good egg. A very strange egg, but a good one. I mean, I would argue that Joe isn't an egg. Um, but, you know, that's just me. <laughs> Maybe at one point in his life he was an egg. He's not an egg anymore. I don't think I've got enough hosts to deal with this. Joe isn't an egg, he's a sphere. Excuse me, he's an oblate spheroid. Sorry, that's 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 an earth joke. <laughs> he seems human to me. I mean that's the thing about Joe. Joe is a cryptid. Um just generally. I'm just waiting for Joe to come online and go, what were you saying about me? Because people have grasped me up to him. He's sure he's not a prolate spheroid. Eh, depends on which way you orient him. That earth joke was pretty rocky. No, JT. No, you're not allowed. Do I remember Hermit Wars, Hermit Quest? No. I'll take things that I wasn't a part of for 20, Alex. What I'm hearing is Joe did the job that Ren is doing, but less theatrically somehow. I mean, you know, I won't say less theatrically because it's Joe, but, you know, and also no, because that was that was a real life situation as opposed to uh, a, a, a content creation there we go let's make myself a little staircase up into this tree chosen an egg is an exhausted moon aren't we all aren't we all I'm exhausted mostly when it comes to Joe your first time watching you as you're slightly new to twitch well enjoy your your twitch whatever this is the twitch debut maybe maybe not my voice is pretty i know right <laughs> she did not in fact know <laughs> My voice is very southern. Everybody take a drink. You are thirsty and also need to drink water. Twitch intro? Mm, maybe. Twitch tro. Twitch tro 9000. Does cola count? I mean, yeah. I know people say, oh, you can't drink that. It's got caffeine. Caffeine's a diuretic. But yes, the water in there is, is more significant than the amount of water you will lose. Because I know people who live off cola, cola. I was one of them at one point in my life. What about vodka? No, that is, that's, that's massively diuretic. That's not, that's not a thirst thing. That's a being alcoholic thing. I'm watching you and Joe at the same time. You both said I know right at the same time. Ah, Twitch stream lag. Huh. Cleo gives Minecraft mum vibes. Oh God, I hope not. I don't want to be anyone's mum. Like ever. I'm quite happy to be that sage person you go to, go to advice for. You know, go to advice for, maybe. Hmm. 
No efficiency. Not anymore. I don't know where it's gone. I had one. And since we're only allowed like 64 diamonds and I've already spent most of them on my pants, I'm, I'm sticking with the iron. Theo gives weird aunt vibes. I mean, I don't think I'm particularly the weird aunt. I, I got, you know. I, I'm the, I'm the, the aunt that, that, you know, sees you for your birthday and then just sort of goes and lives their own life because, you know, they didn't ask to be, ask you to be born and, you know, your parents shouldn't expect anything from them because, dear God, I work with children. It's not happening. Not again. It smells vaguely of patchouli. No, that's rot, darling. It's rot. Couldn't you get more diamonds? Nope. There's only one way to get diamonds these days. Murder. No, not murder. Oh, no, I don't know. Like, assassinations probably could bring in the bills. The aunt you come out to before you tell your parents. Yeah. That one. Like, uh, arguably that one. Everybody comes out to me first. And it's like... I'm gay. I'm like, welcome to the club. We've got jackets, you know, rainbow ones. How much did that get me? Not shabby, not shabby. No digging. No, you can have more than 64 diamonds, but you're not allowed to dig for them. We will probably be helping Tango, arguably. It seems like the fairest thing to do. Because he asks and he's giving me Blackstone. And therefore, he owns my soul. <laughs> Joke's on him, don't have one! Who do I speak to about getting a jacket? Oh, no, 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 you don't speak to anyone. We speak to you. We make our own jackets. I mean, that's true too. You can do anything you want to, darling. You're special. I mean, pushed. If I was to come across some diamonds whilst I'm digging with Tango, I'm going to go, why are you making us be in this level of digging? It's cruel and unusual punishment. That's more than what I'm more likely to argue about. Oh, I didn't dig out half this tree. Okay, that's fine. Cleo selling soul she doesn't have again. Look, it was one time. Now it's twice. This is now a pattern for me. Okay? What hermits are you helping today? At the moment, Cleo is helping herself. Um, but later on, we shall be helping uh, the uh, orange drink man. Um, which I think is only relevant in the UK. Not Tang, Tango. Tango is a fruit orange drink in the UK. And comes and um, comes with the, the unique phrase of a, of a man in a giant genie baby diaper costume slapping you around the face going, you know, when you've been tangoed, which I just want tango to take as his, his theme now. How many hermits live in the UK? Like half? Oh, okay, I've, I've... Right, where are we? I was at greyish milk. Aww. 
Emil has gifted subs, two subs. Thank you very much indeed. Winnie T. Ford has resubscribed for 16 months. Thank you very much. Loki Chemist has resubscribed for 40 months. Hello, Cleo and chat. Hope you're all having a good day. We are. Emil Aww. has gifted another four community gift subs. Kinetic Bismuth gifted five subs. Thank you so much. You guys Aww. are awesome. You know that? And if you don't know that, well, I'm going to deny I said it, but you know, Aww. you are. Mostly. Grape Tang. I know that Tang is like a fruit powder drink thing, I think. I say I know, like I know. I don't know. It might be. That seems more likely than anything else I've said today. Tang is not carbonated. No. Tango definitely is. I mean the drink, not the person. Although, you know, I can see Tango being carbonated. If fruit is in quote, then yes, you are correct. I mean, every, every, you know, all American food and drink is in quotes to me. Because American food and drink is not real. <laughs> it's like American cheese. A tang is also a fish. That is correct. I don't think Tango's a fish. Um, I think he's a sentient robot. <laughs> I don't. Bluetooth has resubscribed for 16 months. Still haven't found the exit. Look, oh, you won't believe me when I say there aren't, but there are really aren't. American food and drinks. Yeah. We're made of carbon, therefore we're all carbonated. I like your the cut of your science jib. We all have a science jib. Not to be confused with the science mainsail. Um... I mean, you can, but it's probably going to go badly for you. Hey, we got pepper jack cheese too. Oh, you got a cheese that is... I don't know. Called something different? I just, what are you after from me? I, I, I don't know. Hershey's ch chocolate, which is American chocolate tastes like vomit, which it does. My other half disagrees, but despite the fact that um, I've said, no, 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 look, this is an actual thing. This is why. He's just like, I don't, I don't taste it. I'm like, nah, dude. I haven't grown up sailing. I appreciated that nautical joke so much. I'm glad. Like, I, I know, of, I have approximate knowledge of many things. Um, and... All that knowledge is used to make real jokes that most people were just like, I don't understand why she said that. Just came out as bi and I'm your bicon. Well, thank you. Be your own bicon though. I appreciate that you like me. Be your own bicon. Just, you're bi, you can do this. You, you, can, you can be amazing, you know? No, don't, don't, don't let anybody tell you how to be amazing. You can be amazing all on your own. Da, da. Oh no, I've got blue skidoo. You can too in my brain again. Huh. So apparently these these chests are here for no bloody reason. Good. Good, good. I'm glad. Blue's Clues, core memory unlocked. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not Tangoception. Tangoception would be Tango, drinking a Tango, watching Tango, streaming one of Tango's videos. There you go, I made it. Boom, we're done here. When's HHH? Should be starting shortly when Tango arrives. Dancing a tango. There you go. Tangoception. Tango. 
Tango is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to. Okay, Tango, Tango isn't Dumbledore. Just waiting for the screams. Waiting for the screams. Let's kill the Neverwalk blocks whilst we're waiting. No one's digging. It's this, this, this thing doing its job. And making me bone meal. That was a deliberate troll and you know it. Yeah, of course it was deliberate. You think I don't know my blooming sci-fi? <laughs> I'm not sorry. Not. Never been sorry. I need to make this a double chest, I think. What do I need all the bone meal for? Arguably making more trees. <laughs> um, I was making another, hang on. I probably have another chest in my, I do, I do. In my many things chest. Never have too much bone meal. Like, I could always get it if I wanted to. I don't want to, though. There we go. If I had known about this, I wouldn't have saved all this blooming nilium. This is a... St That's empty. I'm pretty sure I've got like one. Yeah, I have many of these. Never apologize for being you. I mean, arguably, depends on who you are and what you do and why you think you need to, to apologize. Sometimes you should apologize for being you. I am a great believer in that sometimes you is wrong. You know? I am so pleased that this is a thing that's working. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Can always come back later to it, but let's just double check. Uh, that's warp stem, warped roots. Can I put these things in the barrel? Cause I got like a whole bunch of crap that I need though. can compost the roots too. Thank you, guys. You have saved my bacon. I mean, maybe not my bacon, but you saved like some part of me. Hang on. Where can I get into this chest there? I think Joe's been hot guide again. Oh, let's let's put let's put my scar head away. Wait, you have bacon? Not on me personally. And not in my fridge or anything, or in my freezer. So to answer your question, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I answer questions the way I do sometimes. Mostly to annoy people, I think, but it mostly annoys me. So, uh... Creeper. This is Archimedes. Ooh, for the ooh, ooh card. <laughs> Thank you, Emil, for the biddies. It's appreciated. Oh, crikey, there's, 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 there's people. Um, okay, where did I miss? Kinetic Bismuth gifted five subs. Bluetooth, resubscribe for 16 months. Uh, DS Tots has subscribed. Welcome to the horde. If you look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no exits. Paleo, cheered biddies. Emil, DK, uh, Cheered biddies. Thank you very much, guys. You are amazing. Because if he goes off, we'll be screwed. No, this is, this is, um, this is Scar doing this to me. Um, 
Scar gifted me Archimedes. I say gifted me. He, he, like, also, um, this is the easiest way to find out where the, the skulk sensors are. They're there, in case you're wondering. Just by the entrance of my house. Archimedes. I like that. Um, it's an Archimedes screw pun. Um, is that a pun? It's, no, it's more a play on words. And those aren't the same thing. Uh, so, yeah, but this is my storage room. This is like the best storage room I think I've ever made because it just, it looks like alive and like some people are actually living with it. It's great. It's great. Autism Dragon subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. If you look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no exits. But you don't want there to be exits, do you? Do you? Mm, still not dango. I mean, it was pretty. Like, I have spent... Like, last night... I down I got this, this part of the map downloaded. Um, so I could actually edit what it looks like. So here, what we've got is we've got um, a raised platform just above here. I've put in an extra sort of semicircular uh, building here that sort of comes up halfway and has a little pointy top on the, t on the side. Um, so there's a giant blue walkway that goes across here with some massive windows going through all the white. And at the top, we've got tiny little windows and we've got a roof that sweeps up and down um, on each side. It's like a four, like, sweepy roof. Um, it looks very pretty. It looks very pretty. Mainly a redstone player and jealous of how amazing your storage looks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, like, everyone's got their strengths, but considering that the redstone players have just got uh, a more amazing builds this season. Um, yeah, no, you have to step up your game slightly. Um, and to be honest, this is sort of how I build. I build on like a micro scale. Um, like putting things into places that uh, you can tell I'm filling time until Tango gets here. Um, like putting things into like little places. Like this fills my heart with glee. You know, just... Uh, Just being able to do this is great. There you go. Right, that one's empty. Let's let's try and get some more crap in there. Go green arrow scar for the lols. I don't think I can. Can't wait to see the final result. I can't wait to do it. Um yesterday i like i say i spent i spent like at least an hour working on stuff um so yeah oh dear okay come on tango can we see your armor stand horse uh sure we can go and have a look I say it's not really my, I, um, it wasn't, hang on, I need to get more potatoes. Those aren't potatoes, they are pork chops. Um, it was built initially by Care Bear on my um, Patreon server. Um, and then I recreated it. Hers was a unicorn. Or rather, yeah. Da, 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 da. You're good at building. I'm okay at building. Um, I'm very good at armor stands. But not the best I've ever seen. Um, so yeah. Uh, the best part about this horse is... Is you can ride it. It's such a good horse. And I put in those flowers after the videos were made. Because I wanted this to be a magical thing. So... I do like this horse. This horse is great. Gem asked me for a unicorn. Here's a question. Oh, they're all still in there. Nobody's come book for a random act of armor stand. 
but yeah, this this was what I used to make the eyes. The eyes are a custom head. So yeah, that's a custom head. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Are those four netherite pants? Pants and boots. Pants and boots. I stressed, loved it in the last episode. Well, not a unicorn, but it is amazing. It is amazing. And nobody's told me, nobody's told me, you can't use that many armor stands because they knew how long it took me to do it. <laughs> Oh, she may talk to you about... <laughs> oh, no. Gem has also said, how much for a unicorn? Like a lot, a lot, lot. It's not a unicorn, it's, it's a pony. It is a pony. It's a very pretty pony. But I am not mining for eight bits of netherite. They want the black one, they supply the netherite. That's true, JT, that is true. Look upon my fabulous horse, ye mighty, and despair. He's a pony. Even though I didn't design it myself, I still think it's amazing that I managed to do it. You know, sometimes, sometimes just being, you know, capable of doing a thing is great. My small horse is magical. Yeah, it's tiny. It's tiny. It's massively bigger than me. Well, hang on. This is like Shire Horse standard, I'm sure. Push back me up on this. Thank you, Emerald, for the pony bits. And Shadow Wolf has subscribed. Welcome to the horde. And Autism Dragon has subscribed. I feel like I may have said that one already. But you're nevertheless, you are welcome. Can you do with Ron really long said so you have a high horse to stand on? I don't know. It's pretty high. It's a pretty high horse. Too small for a shire, but it must be at least, at least 16 hands high. Yeah, I know what that means. Well, I do actually know what that means, but yeah, it's fine. How many armor stands is it? Um, let's count. There's eight in the legs. Each of these little black, each two of these little Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, Cleo. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Are you on voice chat? Uh, no. No. Should I be? Uh, hello? Hello? Can you not hear me? Cleo? Can you not hear me? No, I can't hear you. Okay. You can hear me? Y yeah. I'm thinking it's a you thing. Because you could hear me earlier. And it does say I'm transmitting constantly. You know what? You know what? I'm going to throw up my... Uh, test, test, test. Be right back screen. And I'll log in and log out. That may be it. He could hear me say that. Well, my mic can't be on mute because you guys can hear me. Okay, Cleo, I had hostile creatures off. That must have been it. I can hear you now. Ow. Cleo, Sorry. do you want to come see my shop? Yeah, I, I've seen it in passing, but I want I want it to be explained you to come me. In? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, let me... And now you've gone off again. Yeah, sorry. I, I was turning off my overlays because I wanted to record this for my oh, okay, uh, okay, episode. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's so. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Cleo, I was so inspired by your beautiful pink tree over there. I thought this is the perfect place to put a beautiful pink axolotl. 
that it, it is beautiful pink axolotl i can see that it's it's like it's like perfect are there jumping animals around i like to think of them as soaring animals are you torturing animals joe no no cleo nature oh, no, is they healing. like it they like it it's fun they're just it... flying around having a good time okay so we're not technically reopened yet but I wanted to give you a sneak peek and get your feedback on the shop, right? Okay, okay. It's so it's... I I couldn't figure out exactly how clear to make it that you're supposed to go down in the water. So I kind of put some stairs here, but I'm not sure. Like, would you know if you were just coming here by yourself that you're supposed to go into the water? Yes, um, because mm -hmm. uh, you, you, where else am I going to go? Fantastic. Okay, so. If we go down here, right, mm -hmm. I wanted to have a visual indicator of where the actual shopping mechanism is. So I had the tail of the axolotl sweep and point you directly oh. at where you actually would press the buttons. Now, you can't press buttons underwater anymore because they're, they would uh -huh. drift away. So I put in note blocks connected to dispensers with observers. And there you go. See, there's wait, your two wait. buckets of axolotls. Oh, okay. They're drifting away behind you. Now the dolphins are getting them. Oh, I picked... The dolphin brought me one. Here, you can have it back. It's okay. They're not mine um, because I didn't pay anything. Oh, so... well, it would have been better if you paid something. But, um, you know, just as a side note. Is, are those tadpoles? Yeah, there's tadpoles mixed in here, too. <gasps> it's, do you okay. need to buy some tadpoles? I might need to buy some tadpoles. They're all named. Custom names, too. Okay, hang on. It's, is, it, is it one per punch again? We got one diamond per note block punch. P pay here. Okay, 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 okay. I can... Well, this is this is unfortunate. Yeah, that's that doesn't, fine. That doesn't... Wow. There you go. Looks like you got one tadpole and two axolotls. Oh. Um, if I can find out where they are. There you go. They're There's... in the sky. Yeah, no. No, I dolphin, just... be free. Uh, no, no. I only got one uh, maybe not the dolphins is what I'm saying so, so yeah there's well the thing is they spawn no matter what I do but yeah I see the tadpole bucket is right there the dolphins are playing with it and the other axolotl bucket's also around I can't find it why are you like it's, this I can see them from here then you go get them oh I see it I see it I see it, I see it. don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare otherwise I will murder dolphins you, you, you just told me to get it I, I just got it myself I saw it okay I got well it. here's it's the fine. axolotl one uh, Thank you. It's named Barry. Okay, I've I've got Mumbo jump toad. Mumbo jump toad. There you go. That's, that's a good name. That that that's that's a name. And I've got Barry and Jean. Thank you, Joe. Yay! I now Thank have you, Cleo. Mumbo jump toad. It's appreciated. <laughs> and if you need more, you can always pay more. I could, except I've I've spent a lot of money on my already diamond pants, so. You know, sometimes, sometimes you can't. Well, However, would you consider this shop ready to open? Is there anything that you think is holding me back at this point? Because I feel um, like I'm ready to open, but I wanted to have at least one test customer first. I personally would say uh, put a sign in advising people to murder the dolphins before they start. Just saying. What if I put that in as, as a, a, a customer review? Like, Zombie Cleo writes, great shop, except I would have maybe murdered the dolphins before punching the note block. Yes, that works for me. That, 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 okay. that is the best play. <laughs> Perfect. I'll add a customer review wall over here. <laughs> Where people can we got, see it we before, got this they dead punch, space. before they punch yeah. a note block. That seems great. Well, thank you so much for your help, Cleo. You are I, I always really welcome, it. Joe. Thanks for the tadpole that I bought. Enjoy Mumbo Jump Toad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop the recording there. Yeah, I would, I would, I would. <laughs> Any news on the Tanganator? Uh, people are telling me that he just went live and he's looking for us, so I'm going to start a HHH group. Okay.
Oh, no. Group. Would help if I put in a group. I think he just created it. Hi. 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 Hi, people. <laughs> what would you like us to bring? Uh, nothing. I mean, I have... I'm getting an echo. That's cool. Uh, I have like 10, 15 yeah. picks ready to go. If you have some, bring them. But if not, I, I got some for you. Cool. Joe, awesome. just so you know, I'm echoing from your side of things. I don't know how that's possible because I'm, I'm pushed to talk and I wasn't pushing to talk. No, no, no. I meant before because Tango just mentioned that the echoing. I got echo too. So. Where are we going, Tango? Uh, <laughs> you know how to get to my base, right? No, I have the, uh, the directional sense okay. of a lemming. It's like red four, right? It's red three. Yep. Oh, that go I through the go through the red three portal. Make sure you're walking when you go through the portal, just because you know reasons. That sounds don't fly through the portal. Ominous. That sounds. And ominous. then uh, and then come to the middle of the castle area, and I'll meet you up there. Cool, we can do that. Okay, uh, when I'm not pushing to talk, are you still getting echo? No, not right now. No, not right now. I will try to speak when spoken to, then. Well, the B-dubs are here to advise I, I have a, I have a horn for that, if you want. <laughs> oh, you've already got horns, of course. Oh, have you of got, course, have you got, of have course. You got, have you got the B-dubs horns that you were going to do? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> uh. i got to move my beacon. Uh, where do we go from here? Red four. I mean, red three, red three I mean. yeah. Follow the ice tunnel. I'm in yellow. Right, red, red, red. So red, yellow red. and red are opposite each other. Yeah. I'm there. I'm there. Wait, ah, do you yes. have like some sort of creaking noise set up here, Tango? I mean, maybe. That's really cool. <laughs> Like, what is nothing that like noise? a good maw. It does sound like the wind blowing. I approve, Tango. You done yeah. good. You done good. I see, I see tunnels and yeah. just a little growl in there. Yeah. Okay. So when I come through, uh, I'm gonna dis. Oh yeah, I was gonna say once I come through, I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect for replay mod purposes. So when. Okay. Um, why did you want us to? Hi. Hi, yeah, you, you you said just come through a walk. But right? I, did, I wanted you to hear the sounds, that's all. Oh, okay. It was that's, fantastic. That makes sense. That yeah, makes... that's all. Yeah. It was it was a okay. good noise. It was a good noise. Well done. Well done. <laughs> follow me, follow me. It feels like it's grown since we were mm, here last time. Not really, no. I Maybe did a little I bit more terrain work. Terrible memory. That's that's Okay, do you see too. me? There's a hole right here. Follow me. Oh, Oh my giddy arm. Okay. So th this there is what you you've go. Done on your own. This is what I've done over the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount of work. Well done. Yeah, it's not halfway done, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, so yeah, help yourself to either silky or or fortune picks there if you need them. Swap uh, out as you go. Do you want the blocks? No, keep them. Whatever you find. In fact, oh. if you guys ever need clay, I have more clay than I know what to do with in some well. of these barrels and some of these chests. So, <laughs> well, I might have to swipe some of that. Okay, so and just... uh, your your prepayment is over here. <gasps> yes, you, you can fight Joe for it if you want. I mean, Ooh. I'll I get you like, more, but there's like yeah, a there's... maximum of three boxes, like from oh. like the entire oh, okay. season. Yeah, and the I rest is yours, Joe. Ton, so yeah, I know Joe so needs much. like fifty shulkers. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take three and and. Let me know if you need more later. I I will do. Um, I will. <laughs> but, but I'm not quite Joe levels of need at this point, so. Joe, is this You're for the pinball or what's? Star. Yeah, yeah, the back of the pinball machine is blackstone. Like uh -huh. just like the back wall and of of the cabinet is uh -huh. a ludicrous number of boxes. I found out with Swift Sneaks, though, I can put down 27 stacks of Blackstone in 6 minutes and 20 seconds if I get the angle just right. If I have the angle wrong, it's up to 8 minutes. I spent way too much time analyzing this. <laughs> Instead of just doing it, you know. 
<laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, I'm doing it on stream, so I'm trying to find ways to, like, gamify the video game that I'm already playing. Right. <laughs> you know? Can you can you tell me? I like I, I have to admit I know nothing about what the pinball is or what a project is or what what's happening. You're actually making a pinball machine? Yeah, so I'm uh, designing a pinball mas- machine from scratch and building it at colossal scale. Um, and so the idea is to um, go through and do episodes where it's like let's talk about how LEDs work, and then here's how LEDs are used in pinball machines, and you know have scale models of LEDs and explain the electronic. Um, kind of underpinnings uh, of, you know, how they actually function and then show how, how we use them to make cool games. Um, and then I do the same thing for, like, the the motors uh, or the induction coils and the flippers. And Have you made uh, your own pinball machine machines. in real life? It sounds like you have. I want to. And this is kind of my research for that. I see. But I, I know people who have done this in real life. And I've had uh, one of them, uh, Scott Denisi, on stream as a uh, guest to talk about his projects. Because um, one of his garage-built pinball machines, he would bring it to conventions. And people liked it so much that Spooky Pinball did a run of 500 of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, then he went on... Um, People liked it so much they hired him to design the Rick and Morty pinball machine, which, uh, you know, obviously sold well because people love Rick and Morty. Um, And, uh, yeah, so it's just a cool way to learn about electronics. and uh, That sounds pretty awesome, actually, yeah. Yeah, and so I just revealed in my – my birthday stream earlier, I guess last week now, it's not in the episode yet, but the theme for the pinball machine is going to be stellar observatories because I really uh, am excited about the stuff coming out of the James Webb Space Telescope. And this is also an excuse to like work that into my Hermitcraft series this year and kind of talk okay. about that. Because you need you know? an excuse. Well, I kind of do. It's like I'm at the point where it's like I, I just don't have time for all my hobbies. So I'm trying to find ways to do them. <laughs> just at merge, work. merge them together. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. It's like this this way I can kind of, I, yeah, I can have time for it. And also it's the sort of thing like, you know, a lot of people are going to be doing videos about Minecraft, right? You know, like doing yeah, videos I mean, on, her, on Hermitcraft. Go figure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's like, that not... what we do here. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to out nerd anybody on Redstone, but, you know, going and being like, hey, let's talk about space. Let's talk about electronics, you know. I feel like there's uh, an opportunity there to do something a little different. You're, you're just yeah. here just to be more nerdy. Is is that's what I'm talking about. You, you got to talk to Cub because Cub is and Scar obviously. Cub oh, and Scar yeah. are super into the space nerd. The space oh, nerd phenomenon. <laughs> well, and that's part of the fun of it too, though, is that you know I can say, hey, Cub and Scar, I'm doing an episode talking about this launch. You guys want to hop on and you know that sort of thing, and you know kind of work like that Hermitcraft in the podcast. There you go. Well, and that's in in some ways, HHH could be the Hermitcraft podcast. I mean, it kind right? of is, yeah. It we could just come already. in here and like Scar could just say, "I want to talk about Disney for two hours," and we'll say, "Awesome, we have a huge hole to dig." Go for and, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's just go, you know. And we will ask um, questions, but like, tell us why you're excited. Yeah, and uh, it's it's just there, there's something there that I, I think is is smart uh we just haven't really worked out all the details yet but that's the nice thing about hermitcraft is we've been doing this for a decade we don't have to get it all right tomorrow you know nope. we'll get it eventually i mean we're never gonna get it all right that's, that's another the whole decade point. or two yeah 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 no like believe me you guys 45 years from now hermitcraft is really gonna kind of have their stuff together y'all that's when I, we'll I, hit our stride you, yeah are you sure about that that it doesn't feel like it's Difficult. Does anybody have any torches That's... so that I can just um uh yeah 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 so just put them in the hot bar where are you? oh there you are thank you mm-hmm. cool Oop. I'm not too fussed about picking up the stone or anything too so just you can let okay. it rot if you yeah, want I'm just throwing it in boxes for right now I brought you don't even have to do that it. yeah I just I don't know what we're gonna need later. That's the thing. If there's any dirt going, you know, I am all about the dirt. Do you, do you need a lot of dirt? I'm all I, about I need the to dirt. Fin- I need to finish off the dirt that I've in my base because my base has <clears> got a grass floor on it. And um, yeah, I don't, you know, go away. Oh, why do slimes always bother me? It's not You've got them, that magnetic Jevon. personality, Cleo. Come 
Come on. Is Jev online? No. Okay. <laughs> Don't need to instantly be retaliated against. <laughs> Another PvP battle out here. We still got a lot done, though. Like, I mean, as much goofing off as we was, do, we got a crazy. lot done. It was crazy. Like, all of it. Yeah, I have, like, a little bit of snow work to do left. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm glad we helped. I, I don't know what that feels like normally, because, dear God, did we not help? Okay. So, so you need dirt. Is that what I should be? Uh... I know. Well, I need some dirt. I need like like a few stacks of it at this point because you know. Okay. I I don't know why dirt is the one thing that I'm 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 lacking. I can't in... imagine there's a shortage of dirt on the server. Yeah. I know. Something it's tells just... me. Ah! I fell. Everything's fine. I think. <laughs> that was a great noise, Tango. Yeah. I, I, was... I, I, I approve of that noise. Whatever that was. I'm glad you've been... <laughs> You, you've clearly been working with a vocal coach. Yeah, right. That was years of training there to hit that pitch. Well, you, you know what I actually, um, I, I heard you have been working on. Um, you know, I, I was, uh, you mentioned that you were starting to get into hockey more. I didn't mm -hmm. realize that you were also doing that with Mrs. Tango and possibly other members of your family. Are you all in the same league or are there different leagues that are just like... My, well, no, there's no, there's really no kid adult le leagues. Yeah, um, I wasn't sure. If mostly there would for be. the pride of the adults, they would be members <laughs> too much. Um, but yeah, no, my wife and I are on the same team. We love it. We mm -hmm. play on Thursday nights, and it's like the most comical thing ever because you know we're terrible. That's so um, cute. That we, is, play so a, fun, yeah. we play in a. We play in a. So the way hockey is usually divided up is like there's A, B, C, and D leagues. A being mm -hmm. the best and D being like, you know, where's my beer kind of thing. Yeah, and, and we're in the L League. Or... Well, yeah, I no, we're in the G League. Yeah, they, they made a special <laughs> league for people of our, uh, you know, special skill set, shall we say. Yeah. I mean, th that's where I would be if I got started with this. One, one of my friends has been bugging me to, to give this a try, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, man, to get my life in order to where I can have time to do stuff like this. But it's like, yeah, so what are you it's talking reassuring. about? Hobbies? Well, it's reassuring to hear that there is a G League, right? Yeah. Like, thank that, you. This is making me feel a lot more emboldened. You feel like they still got hope, yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is my uh, my wife tonight, she, she's in also a separate league, a ladies league, which is also, like, I would say it's below G League. It's, you know. Um, anyway. Wow. Uh, tonight, tonight's the... Uh, That's... To oh, I'm going to let her know you said that. <laughs> oh, she, it's fine. She knows. She knows. She knows. <laughs> She's like the all-star of that league. We'll just say that. Um, and uh, tonight wow. they're doing a special. They're doing a, uh, a a disco night. They're turning out the lights on the hockey rink, and they got like a disco ball in the middle of the rink. They're gonna turn that on and get like glow sticks on everybody and a glow-in-the-dark puck. That it's sounds gonna, amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I might have to go watch. Oh yeah, dude, certainly go watch. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, the only excuse to not go is that you know one of the kids is sick and you can't take. No, it. yeah, like. Short I'll, of I'll that, I'll probably go. go. It sounds fun. Y you've got to go. It does sound amazing. Yeah, like, I don't know. Part of the benefit of us being our own bosses is we can choose when to be irresponsible with our time. I like, completely agree, and it's nice, you go, yeah. You've got to go for something like that. That is that is so cool. Talk me into it, I will go. Yay. Cleo, we're legitimately helping Hermits. There you go. <laughs> like, socially, in their lives. <laughs> I know, I know. But uh, yeah, Tango, uh, I'm, I'm really glad that you recommended uh, Mrs. Tango join us uh, for uh, Draw for Charity. She had so much fun. Yeah, she had so much fun. She so is thanks. so much better than the rest of us. It's ridiculous. She, yeah, you, well, you can tell that she while. plays yeah. against top tier players <laughs> yeah. and the rest of us don't. She's been playing for a while, yeah. Yeah. She told me I should play more, which I don't know how to take. It's just sort of like, oh, you lied well, really I, well. I heard, I heard you were <laughs> quite good, Cleo, so. Oh, right. Okay. Everyone was saying you were an amazing liar, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. But... I mean, <laughs> you know what? I, I did make you go in double life over to Scar's base. This is true. <laughs> you have experience with me lying in real time. <clears throat> I try to use my powers for good. <laughs> I mean, that's a lie. I use my power for when it's fun. Let's see, even even now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lie. It, it's, just, it's just so natural to you. It's just, it I can't not do it. Yeah. I can't not lie. I cannot tell a lie.
Is everyone having fun with the digging? Oh yeah. This is this is one of the most social elements of my week. I'm loving it. <laughs> it's very therapeutic. Cleo, what's your big project that you're working on? I'm actually uh, working on Atlantis this uh, right now. Um, okay. I've I've been looking at everybody's bills and going, oh, like like a bunch of squares isn't going to cut it, you know. So um, at the moment, I've um, I've trying I've to taken... step it up. You mean? Or... Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to do better. Um, good. I think so we all are, and that's I... what that's what makes us good. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did get a creative world. That's what you helped me do, mm -hmm. actually. Um, Tango is the reason why my build might look better than it normally does. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I've got that world sorted and set up now, so I can like do the thing. I can do I, a little I, do a little practice. Yeah, good. Yeah, I've made it look pretty. Excellent. Now I just need to make like the build in Hermitcraft look pretty, and uh, you know that's always the, the 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 tricky part. The grunt work, yeah. Yeah. It's like now I need to get like like three boxes of blackstone. I spent like a couple of hours getting warp milium um, today. So oh, that's the worst. I, it, why would you make it so that the leaves do, don't decay? Out of oh, spite, see? really? Good question. It was, it was, it was, it, it's just, it's just yeah. Spite. There's like people keep buying Minecraft. We've been trying to phase it out in favor of our new product, Microsoft Database SQL Pro, and people just aren't <laughs> buying that. We gotta really the, the SQL Pro is the future. That's where we we need the right. consumer. High correlation there, yeah. Yeah, between it makes sense. It makes sense. Block Joe. building. Yeah, they're and gonna keep punishing us. Querying, yeah. Okay, that's that seems reasonable, but yeah, no, it's just like like, like it doesn't make sense as to that would be like your first kind of yeah. Let's like every other tree. Let's make it really annoying to farm this really pretty block. I can see people loving that idea. <laughs> More grind. Oh, rise and grind, everybody, rise and grind. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was saying that last like. I, I'm not a fan of modded, and I, I can I can respect the grind, but it does feel like there needs to be a vanilla way to dig out large areas at this point. Oh, 100%. 100%. Because spending 25 hours digging a hole is not fun yeah. for anybody. We are we are not the we are not the target group though of Minecraft, really. Fair enough. But um, I, I mean, is there another group who's like? Oh yeah, that's an easy dig. Let's just get on that. Just you know, like no, I mean. I think I think the answer is that there's the people like this is their this is their hockey league, like there are people. This is not their job. They they spend all day. I don't know, working in you know industrial food manufacturing plants or whatever, <laughs> making neutral sure. grain bars, and you know they come <laughs> on and they hang out with grain bars. <laughs> that was it's, awfully it's, oddly specific. Yes, I, I was trying to think of something that wasn't something somebody I know did because like the guy who works in the milk factory. If I mentioned the milk factory, like the the, the pasteurization center or whatever, he'd be like, he's talking about me. You know, like <laughs> I was like, I don't know anybody who makes cool neutral out. grain bars. <laughs> yeah, don't know anybody who makes neutral grain bars. Uh, but yeah, like the, the, for them, where they're like, okay, I'm gonna go hang out for four hours at the end of the workday with a bunch of friends who just got off their workday. Like, yeah, for for them, this is way different from us, where we're like, this is in the way of me making a video, rather than this is how I celebrate the end of my workday. True, I guess. No, I guess you're right. You know. And... All of my everyone that plays on my Patreon server is like, uh, what do you think we do? So I get it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I get my, it. my Patreon server is the same as well. They they yeah. are they are psychopaths too. Um, so yeah, no, 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 that they, they they do do that as for fun. Although so I, I will say I, that my <laughs> there needs to be a better way to do it. There does, there does. Without, well, like, I mean, we could always duping. build a world eater. I suppose, but that requires TNT duping, which yeah, I'm not keen on. Yeah, Me neither. same. Yeah. There's a group that is just like, yeah, no. And there's a group that's like, yeah, why wouldn't we do that to help ourselves? Right. Otherwise, we're going to have to go and call our friends together and dig a massive hole. What they should do is the equivalent of TNT duping in vanilla, if you were going to add it to the game, is create a way to put like a bridle on ghasts and fly around on them shooting. <gasps> there you go. 
Yes. And, 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 and so instead of having TNT duping, you're generating explosions continuously with and maybe in order to maintain the gas being tame you need to feed it like a blaze rod every so often or something right <laughs> like i'm but, a fan of where this is going this, i mean that's this, that's see, right, like, that's comedy ignore, right there yeah yeah ignore what you know um oh god that would be yeah. like a weapon of war <clears throat> gas blues put them on a lead scott would love that God, all, just like run around and skip a merry little tune with a with a gas balloon following behind you yeah it would have to be very specific and you know very targeted and and difficult to do but absolutely that should be well, a thing that's possible like, tnt duping is late game content you know anyway so yeah anything <laughs> that replaces it takes like three it? minutes to make one well i mean i i don't know you have to go get coral so you need silk touch at least that's like i suppose yeah thing, you know you have to get coral so i actually don't know how to tnt do oh because... so it, it has to do with the block id of one of the coral fans or something like that being close oh. to the block id of the tnt or something i don't know exactly i'm surprised they haven't patched that out they patch out everything else but yeah i just i love the idea of making the game more fun by making more creatures rideable like and yeah I jeff is all about like, rideable dolphins i think I think it was Jeff yeah, and, and I understand they're like we don't want people to try and ride dolphins in nature and get killed. And it's like, oh my gosh! Fine. But well, like, you do you want what? people to go Gas around killing real. pigs with swords? Are you worried about that? I mean, well, I mean, it's really important for kids to learn how to slaughter their own meat young, and so I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to complain. Uh... No, but I, th I think I think like. I can understand the not riding dolphins because I did watch a video recently of a woman that tried to ride a dolphin that was stranded on a beach and basically nearly drowned out. That's Darwinism. I'm I'm 100% in support of that. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> it's Darwinism for the dolphin. The dolphin didn't do anything wrong. Well, fine, fine, true, okay. <laughs> she nearly drowned the a dolphin. The dolphin got too close to a human. We can yeah. discourage that. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah gods aren't real. I, I don't. You I know don't what know film who... I saw recently that actually ties into this discussion um, is Nope. Have you heard of this? It's nope. in theaters now. Yeah, it's the UFO. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the the guy, um, the the premise of the film. I don't want to get into spoilers because I, I I think it's a great film and people should go in relatively blind. But the the premise is that the main characters run a horse farm for um, motion pictures. The idea is that the first moving picture was um, this jockey on a horse. And that that jockey was their great grandfather. And now they run this horse farm and they bring horses out to make movies with, right? Uh -huh. and, um, and and a lot of the, the, the movie is about respect for nature and animals and how you have to be sensitive to living things not thinking the same way we do right you can't mm -hmm. just you can't just treat a horse the way you would a prop on a film stage or Correct. whatever because it's yeah. alive and uh so like having a healthy respect for nature is is like a recurring theme there that's that's really cool. gotcha gotcha so yeah if you get the chance to go check it out it might be a little bit too scary for kids i wouldn't take my kid to see it right but like if you and mrs tango are looking for a night out um it's got some really funny bits it's legitimately really interesting and the cast is fantastic so. sounds good i didn't get the impression it was a horror movie uh, or, or was you not classified as horror but creepy is it more it, it's it's like sci-fi horror like you know signs it's i like was one just of those... gonna say is it like m, m. night Shyamalan ding dong yeah it, it's, <sighs> it's kind of like a signs kind of horror where there's like a lot of suspense but the thing is there is some graphic violence as well unlike signs which didn't really oh. have that so it like the general vibe of the movie is closer to like creepy sci-fi like what's going on type of mystery stuff uh -huh. but there is occasional brief intense bouts intense bouts of violence um and uh yeah so it's i i would say if somebody doesn't like horror movies they would probably not feel super comfortable with this gotcha um, but yeah hmm does sound like a fun movie i i'm a good fan of the uh the old ultra violence 
Um, I, this day, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of anything that isn't a sequel. <laughs> it's, right? it's definitely, it's definitely original. At no point was I yeah. watching it and going like, "This is really derivative," right. and that's rare. It um, is rare. It's, it's impossible to find yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, did. I, I was mean, a fan of Everything Everywhere All at Once. That was a really good mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I liked that. Um, yeah, I heard yeah, that I liked... was fantastic. Yeah, oh, I strongly recommend that as well. Is, and I would say go in as blind as possible. Is, yes. it's I not knew still in theaters, or is it on a is it on a streaming it's, service now? It's on or? streaming now. Yeah, which so, one? You know. Yeah. I, well, I bought it on Apple for twenty bucks, but you could rent it for cheaper. But I okay. I bought it on Apple after seeing it in like we've got an independent theater in Nashville. Um, that like does weird indie movies and stuff all the time. And now that I'm my own boss, I can go over there at like two o'clock on a Tuesday or whatever and mm -hmm. like sit in an empty theater and not have to worry too much about the pandemic and just, you know, this is this check is out this stuff is like why that. we're our own bosses at this point. Just so we can go to the movie theaters when other people aren't. Yeah, it's a real Don Draper move. But like one <laughs> that doesn't involve like throwing a bottle at somebody or being super sexist. So, you know, that's fun. Uh so I don't know. I really, um, I saw it in theaters and when I was like, okay, some folks who haven't seen it wanted to watch it with me again. I was like, do I rent it on iTunes or buy it? I'm like, I'm going to want to watch this. I'm going to watch this a lot. Pay. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is a solid one. It, so it was good enough that I saw it in theaters and then bought it on streaming. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't tend to watch movies more than once, but this is one that I will watch I don't again. either. Yeah. So but I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about it. So. It, it's, yeah, and it's like I said, very, go in blind though. It's a very special kind of weird. So, yeah, I, a lot of movies I go into them and I'm like, you know, in Act One they do something and I'm like, okay, Act Two is gonna be this, Act Three is gonna be this, and then I'm just kind of watching the movie to see which parts I'm right and wrong about. Yeah. But like yeah. with both of these films, I was like, what the heck are they doing? You were just totally this caught off guard and blindsided yeah, by it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and normally I have to watch, like, incredibly bad films, like the stuff that would be on Mystery Science Theater 3000 to have that. Because, like, <laughs> it's like, okay, so there's two brothers, and they have a boat, and they're driving around on the swamp boat in the swamp, and, okay, there's a snake, okay, maybe one of them gets bit. No, wait, the snake is bulletproof, so now they need to capture the snake to bring it to scientists, but there's other swamp creatures that have powers. Okay, none of this I saw coming. You I did not anticipate coming? Yeah, come on. Snakes. <laughs> no, yeah. Such a trope at this point, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So normally, normally I have to watch the worst movies ever to be surprised. But like, no, these are legitimately two very good movies that are very surprising made in the last year. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd recommend them both without reservation. Excellent, um, excellent. Yeah, there, there, there are some moments that even made me just go. Huh. And I, I, I see a lot of, like, like, when you see it and you see the fingers, you'll understand. You'll understand Wait, entirely. The, the I'm not going to say anything. Don't, 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 don't even say that, Cleo. Don't say anything. Don't say anything, Cleo. It's, a, it's okay. a good movie. It's a good movie and it's worth seeing blind. Definitely go see it. What is it going on with this digging over here? Look. Do you want help or do you want to complain? <laughs> There's a difference. It's just like random. I'm going to go over here, over there, and dig down. And... You've you met me, Tango. You're doing a great job. You're doing a stand-up right, job. You. I love it. That's yeah. what I there thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get the help, can you? Oh, no, wait. I am the help. <laughs> That's right. Do you want it done perfect or do you want it done? Is the I, question. It's a hole. I don't care how it gets dug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making it for when I leave and you have to do it yourself. More interesting. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm good at this. I've dug so many holes for hermits at this point. I must have dug about seven holes for Jevin, it feels like. Really? I know you guys helped him with his mountain there too, right? Is that yeah, one and last season mm -hmm. we helped as well um, with, with his big hole. Um, Jevin likes holes for some reason. Um, this is this is the biggest one I've ever had to dig out. How far are we going down? If you tell me we're going down to... Uh... Uh, zero, at least. Uh... Well, that's not happening today, though, so don't concern yourself with that. You know. It's... I mean... We'll be back, though. That's the problem. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be done by the time next week rolls around. I have to be. I, I, okay. Really? That's... 
That's you, you that's have I, to be I, for your production I, schedule. I mean, I want my next video to be starting decked out, and I kind of feel like the hole needs to be done so I can. Oh dear God! Least, that... So okay. yeah, I'm, I'm shooting well... for Wednesday to be done with this. Okay. <laughs> so you know, that's what that's the next 48 hours of my life. <laughs> yeah, just just here digging a hole. Yep. I don't I probably put in 12, maybe 10 hours over the weekend. You need to do what Corrales does and hire, hire children for this. I know. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I'm children. not going to let Tango do this alone. I'm going no, I'm I'm to keep bothering other people. I know. He has, Don't pressure him. I no, I know. I'm just letting them know because we but started an hour late. If they're going to enjoy late, the game, they need they, to. They need to. Well, but also if they came in here earlier, and we're like, "Oh, is Tango here yet?" No, he's not here yet. Like, I'm letting them know you're here now, and that we're working, and they're welcome to join. To be fair, if you if you told us where the hole was, we, could we have probably would have started before you got here. Ago. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't feel comfortable, you guys. Digging my hole over here without me, you know, so. Oh. I understand it, but also foolish. Joe, Joe already us. did a whole bunch of snow after I left. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, I was waiting for NASA to release those James Webb Space Telescope images. And, like, they were running an hour behind. And I was like, I can either sit here looking at my computer being, like, annoyed that NASA hasn't release this yet or i can keep working on this and the whole chat can be like why isn't nasa put these images out yet and i could be like i know right so it was very it was very helpful for all of us to have that you know support in place that slight rage mm -hmm. oh, i hate going out of range of the blooming yeah when That's you're in that right. back corner sorry uh. Yeah, it's no okay. My that's beacon why placement I, oh, was suboptimal. It's, it's why I haven't done that back corner. <laughs> that's okay. I've got all my chests over here anyway. So. Cool. Woo! Do, do, do. <laughs> Everyone's yelling at me to grab the dirt for Cleo, so I will now pick up the dirt you, for Cleo. You do not have to grab the dirt for Cleo. Cleo is... Uh, Perfectly capable of getting around dirt. It's fine. <laughs> How if much you dirt have do you any need? spare, like just a couple of stacks, to be honest, like not a huge oh. amount. It's just a case of it's the one thing that's been evading me. <laughs> this like curse month. you, dirt. Someday I will find you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like really. I've, I've mostly been annoyed at myself because it's like you could just go and get some dirt, and I'm like, but it's the principle of the thing. <laughs> Yeah, Cleo, I also have, like, several chests of dirt. And also, did you go through the dirt chest at the HHH building? Maybe. Okay, well, no, that's fine. It was there for people to use. But, like, <laughs> I have my own dirt, too, if you need it. Because yeah. uh, the, the pinball machine doesn't really need any. And uh, none of my builds are coming up in the near future do either. So okay. it's just going to be sitting there for 12 months. Thank you. I will... I will probably do what i normally do and it's just like i don't want to be a bother i'll just go mine out my own <laughs> i'm really bad at that it's disconcertingly we all need to be better about stuff like that though we need to be yeah. helping each other like because like why should i have a bunch of dirt sitting chests until the world download right right yeah yeah i'm all for the sharing of resources and stuff and like like the black yeah. one's a perfect example that's just I've got a gold farm that's generating it. No one should go out and spend hours digging Blackstone. And I appreciate that. And it's just a case of... It's just a case of being comfortable enough to ask, I think. Because no. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, you know... What, what if they need that for their build? You know, it's like... I mean, like, I do, but I'll make more. It's not hard, you know? It's part I, of the process. Yeah, I know. But my brain is just like... But they've they've done the farm to build that. My brain is not good about asking people for help, just in yeah, general. Apparently, so it's fine. So what you're well, saying is I just need to come by and just drop random resource boxes on your doorstep every once in a while. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I think objectively, one of the points of being an artist collective is we help each other with the things that individually. Yeah. Individually, our brains are. It's like if we know that Cleo has a problem asking for help, we go out of our way to say, "Hey, Cleo, please go take this dirt. It's not being used, right?" Yeah, that's true. It's not pride. It's 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 not wanting to stress. It's anxiety, is what it is. Professor underscore Drake Blade yeah. Sour. Oh, everyone, everyone in my chat's calling me out right now because they're they're right. I, I am horrible at asking people for help. Yeah. Well, to be fair, we did try and bully you in this. We we was just like Tango. Do you have a problem? Can we solve it? <laughs> I have lots of them, but only some of them can be solved. <laughs> wow. That's true. One second. Going to talk to my chat. I think that's right. Okay, guys. So, just saw a card be played. Those cards are not available during HHH. Um, it's just the ones that change things on screen. Um, so, let's just... Uh... I'll refund those later. Uh, Emil has cheered biddies. Kitsu has subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. Uh, if you look to your left and to your right, you'll see the no exits. Aeon King has resubscribed for 10 months. Paleo cheer biddies. Thank you very much. It's all right. I'll, I'll refund it later. It's fine. Um, just letting you know. Er. And I'm back. Nope. No. Okay. So it's um, it's a romantic comedy where a guy falls in love with the AI in his new computer, basically. But <laughs> I didn't know that. I went in completely blind. And it's super... There's all these ominous hints that, like, the computer's a little too obsessive. And I was just like, oh, man, this is, like, the slowest burn on a sci-fi horror movie ever. And, like, there's hints that other people's computers are, like, getting into, like, weird relationships with them. And, like, I'm like, oh, my gosh, there's going to be this whole computer uprising. I Like, I was waiting for people to just start getting murdered by their by their laptops, basically. And, and it was just a rom-com. It was just a romantic comedy about a guy who falls in love with his computer. But I enjoyed the movie a lot more. <laughs> I was, there was a ton of foreshadowing that this was just going to all collapse at a societal level. It was like, at third act of this movie is going to be like zombie movie level of survival people, you know, barricading doors type thing. Wasn't. Not at all. But, <laughs> no, 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 no. But I wouldn't have been able to sit through that movie if I had known what it was. <laughs> what, got something against rom-coms? Uh, it wasn't necessarily a great rom-com. Okay, that, I mean, that's ones. fair. But it, w it uh, wasn't a great rom-com, but it would have been a great... Uh, I would say Joe versus movie. the Volcano with Tom Hanks is a good romantic comedy. I don't I like romantic comedies, so, you know, I haven't okay. seen yeah. I don't watch no, them. Uh, okay, so the premise of Joe versus the Volcano is uh, that this guy... Um, has this, like, completely, like, terrible life that's just a complete grind. And he finds out one day he's got uh, a chronic, like, uncurable brain problem. And he's, okay. he's got, like, six months to live. And so he's just like, great, so I guess I'd, I, I feel like I don't have to go to work anymore, but I don't have any money, or I don't have any ability to make any decisions for myself in the first place, because, you know, I'm poor. What do I do? And right. he gets approached by this guy who's just like, hey, um, I'm trying to broker this uh, mining deal with these Pacific Islanders. And they need somebody to jump into this volcano. And so <laughs> if you jump into this volcano in five months, uh, I'll basically give you unlimited money to spend wow. until then. But you have to get to this volcano and jump in on this day for this ceremony. And so he, he ends up, so it's about Tom Hanks basically with a stupid amount of money for the first time in his life uh -huh. trying to travel the world. But he's got to get back to this volcano. He's got to get to this volcano in time because he's, he genuinely is like, well, I'm going to die anyway. Why would I be a jerk about it? Why would this? you not do it? Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's, no, there's no reason to like take this guy's money and run. Like, yeah, and and so yeah, the film's called Joe versus the Volcano, and uh, there, there's kind of a, a romantic uh, plot between 
the owner of the mining concern, uh, his daughter, and uh, Tom Hanks' character, who plays Joe. Uh, it's Meg Joe. Ryan, I think, right? She's yeah, I think it's Meg Ryan. But Every rom-com in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, if, if you've seen True. Discworld, Cleo, or if you've, you've read, if you've read the novels, I've like, read, Discworld. I've read Discworld, yeah. yeah. So, so the premise of the luggage that, like, uh, follows... Um, Two Flower in in Discworld mm -hmm. originated in the film Joe versus the Volcano. He's got this ludicrous like waterproof luggage trunk thing that just <laughs> um, follow. No matter where he goes or how off, like he could be in a huge storm or whatever, he washes up on shore and he's just like, oh, now I'm completely screwed. And then like his luggage just washes up next to him. It's just like <laughs> following him the whole movie. It's not like sentient and, and gnashing its teeth like in Discworld, but like the joke for that uh, originated with this movie, where where this guy he just he just keeps thinking like it, it's about like incredible swings of good and bad luck. It's like his life is a is a total mess and it's terrible forever, which is bad luck. And then he gets brain cancer, which is worse luck. But now he's got unlimited money to spend traveling the world, which is good luck. But all of his travels, he keeps getting waylaid, which is bad luck. And but you know, and then his luggage shows up, which is good luck. And it, it's it's really funny. Um, and uh, Tom Hanks is is great in everything he's in. This is he must yeah. have made this back in the eighties. It's it's not a it's not a. I want to say that's late eighties, yeah, early nineties or something. It I does forget, feel but... yeah, feel very. But 80s. it's it's a it's a really kind of fun movie. <laughs> there there's some depressing parts in it. Don't get me wrong. What but, you mean uh, the guy the movie with about, yeah. about a guy that has brain cancer has some yeah, depressing the guy, moments. Yeah, the terminal illness movie has some 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 kind of some downer dark parts moments. in it. Yeah, I can't just imagine warning. <laughs> <laughs> but like but anyway you asked for an example of a romantic comedy that is good and i i would say that that's one of the best romantic comedies ever made that doesn't feel like a romantic comedy though like feels... everything you said had nothing to do with the romantic with comedy yeah. <laughs> well, but like the... the thing is well the, the the romantic comedy is woven through the whole thing though like his interactions with the daughter of the mining concern guy because she's like traveling with him or meeting back up with him throughout the movie right yeah. You know, and uh, like, and she's there at the end when when he has to jump into the volcano, and like, I I, I think, but like, the, I didn't I didn't want to go too much into that because it kind of gets too spoilery on the plot, right? Right. Uh. I I'm I'm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah. Okay. So Hold, anytime Cleo goes, mm, I, oh, I, I can know say what to that myself, means, yeah. I'm not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> If She's I was wrong, Cleo tongue, would yeah. tell me. I I still I I am still dubious about the fact that it's a uh, a rom com. I think that's that's where my thing goes. It's like that doesn't sound like a rom com. That sounds just like a comedy. With that a was that was element. before Tom Hanks became Tom Hanks. Like that was before. I Forrest think Gump, Tom Hanks Philadelphia was always Tom Hanks. Stuff. Well, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> well, I'm talking like, like there was big. a you know big, like, yeah. I would say, it was yeah, around big, big was time probably... i think yeah big you know, there was... felt like his breakout moment but I don't probably know. Well, well that was his he was still a, a comedic actor at that point it wasn't until like he basically won the academy award like three years in a row it was it was philadelphia forrest gump uh apollo like those three years he just made all the best blockbuster movies mm-hmm hmm. That was where yeah. I really said of Masara's like, oh, I'm I'm Mr. Academy Award now. Yeah, Apollo 13 is great. Um, oh, yeah. Have you gotten to see For All Mankind? It's like a TV nope. show uh, kind of set in the same time period. Uh, but the, nope. the premise is that what it's like an alternate history show where like, what if the Soviets beat America to the moon by one month? And then spent all their resources trying to troll us into bankrupting ourselves by spending too much money on NASA. Like the way we tried to get them to spend too much money on cruise missiles. You mm -hmm. know? <laughs> and so every, every season is a different decade. So the first season is like uh, late 60s, early 70s. And the next one is like eight, late uh, like 70s to 80s. And the season they're on now, season three, is all the 90s. And it's uh, it's a pretty funny show. But like if you're, if you're into like this sort of like space catastrophe thing. Um, like, how do people solve engineering problems? It's uh, got a lot of that, which I've been Interesting. enjoying. Sounds like a very odd movie. Oh, series, oh it's a show. 
yeah, yeah. 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 But like, you know, I don't want to get too spoilery, but like, for example, um, you know, so they beat us to the moon and then we finally get somebody to the moon in July of that year. Mm-hmm. And uh, America's like, look, anything you can do, we can do better. And and Russia goes, oh, that's fine. We've already launched our second mission to the moon. And look, this time it's a female cosmonaut. You know, America's really terrible at women's rights, isn't it? Unlike the Soviet Union, which treats everybody <laughs> equally. And so then it's like, you know, got Nixon screaming at the NASA director, like, find me some, you know, female test pilots to go up in space. And it's like, well, there's no female test pilots. And it's, Nixon's like, I don't care. I look like an idiot. Fix it. And, <laughs> you know, like, it's just America throwing money at these problems while the Soviet Union trolls us into, like, just investing more and more into space. Wow. Sounds reasonable. Does sound like a, an interesting show. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. <clears throat> I don't watch a lot of, like, TV shows anymore. I really should. I mean, I only do because I spend so much time, like, doing dishes and folding laundry. Like, if I wasn't responsible for another human, (laughs) I would not do as many chores as I do, and I would not have as much time to watch television. That's reasonable. Being responsible for other human beings sucks. I I watch so little TV and movies. (laughs) Yeah, I don't get to watch a lot of movies because I feel like a lot of those you really need to sit down and pay your full attention to. Like, the better a movie is, the less likely it is that I've seen it. Because, like, somebody will recommend something to me and I'll be like, oh, awesome. Could I put that on while I'm, like, making dinner? And they're like, nah, you gotta you gotta really get it. Gotta really it. absorb like, it, yeah. And then I'm like, uh, okay, well, I'll get to it, like, five, six years? <laughs> like, if I can put it on while I'm cooking and glance at it occasionally while not burning stuff, then I can get to it tomorrow. Yeah, good movies you can't really do that with, so, you know, it, the reason why it's good is because it makes you think, usually, isn't it? So. Well, there's a lot of visual storytelling in, in great films. Well, in movies, and... yeah. 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 And so, like, I don't want to miss out on that. Like, Everything Everywhere at Once and Nope were films that I had the opportunity to see at the independent theater at, like, a matinee. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and also just kind of at a point where it's like, okay, my daughter's gone for the summer. I need to spend some time just, uh, you know, getting out of the apartment and doing stuff that I couldn't do if she were here, right? Mm, like, yeah. I need to really take advantage of, you know, that six-week gap when she's with the other side of the family um because i won't have that for the rest of the year yeah sounds good to me though just having a whole six weeks where you just get to do what you want to do sounds like great yeah for parents i it's it's kind of helpful but i also feel like i need to be cramming in as much work as possible so when she gets back ah. like i can be like it's like okay i need to work as hard as i can now so the first weekend she gets back we can get in the car and go here and then the next weekend i should take her there like it's like i don't want to you know yeah it, so there is competing priorities there yeah so yeah i'm trying to keep myself from going too overboard in either direction i can't just I'm... party all the time because otherwise i won't be able to enjoy it when she comes back but if I stress out too much about work, then I'll be too stressed out when she gets back to hop in the car and go on a day trip somewhere, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, I like having seen a lot of parents, you do, you do all right, Joe. You do all right. Well, thank you, Cleo. I'm, I'm not, honestly, it's, I'm not, I, I don't have any, like, I don't know. I'm not a self-doubting person in general. <laughs> like, I'm not one of those people who's like, am I capable of being a good enough parent? I'm like, yeah, most parents suck. I'll do all right. Like, this is true. you know, I'm, yeah. I'm sure I'm going to screw stuff up, but, like, everybody does. And, yeah. You know. And there are some people it's... out there that screw up everything. Yeah. Trust me. But, like, what, I, what, what, <laughs> what I'm concerned about is not, like, my I used own to be a teacher. Capa- Trust me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, what 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 bothers me is not Things my own broken. capabilities as a person. It's more that I'm worried like will I have time in? to Sorry, is there a problem with my audio? Sorry, no, no, I'm having stream problems. Sorry. I I thought I was muted. I was too before, so it may not be you, I don't know. 
Uh, no, but what I was going to say is I, I'm not worried about, like, myself from a self-esteem standpoint. Like, am I capable of being a good enough parent? My, my concern is always, do I have enough time to be the parent I want to be? And then I have the same concerns with YouTube and everything. Do I have the time to be the artist I want to be? Like, because it's like, I'm, I'm yeah. really confident, but I'm also really tired. <laughs> My chat's telling me that hype trains are messing with streams today and messing them up like they changed something with hype streams and oh. they're broken now or something. Oh. So don't hype train, people. <laughs> I mean, if you hype train, we'll just deal with the brokenness. I just, have a hype train just already. Delays. Yeah. Just throw your money at Joe Hills. He uses PayPal directly. Oh, what a great <laughs> idea, Tango and or Cleo. Let me post that <laughs> PayPal link if I... <laughs> Joe could use your help. Please, 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 please. I was going to say subscribe to Joe, but. Well, I, I will say I before please I was a single PayPal parent, directly. I did not like asking for money. But like, I'm at the point where it's like, I need all the help I can get. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, no, I understand that. Um, but it's, it's, it's. We're all right. Generally yeah, no, I mean, speaking. It's... Yeah, I, I made plans to take a significant amount of time off in October because, um, mm -hmm. like, um, the based way that on the discussion the... we had on on Wednesday. Well, yeah, but uh, to give some background for Tango, who like uh, basically the way that the custody is set up, I have my kid for all the time she's in school, but most of the breaks she's with her mom. And oh, so that means I don't get to like enjoy. Yeah, well, it's good because I can be I, like my job allows me to be a lot more supportive and involved during the school year than she right, would have right. otherwise. It's like, but like, it's frustrating because it's like, oh, I want to do the fun stuff too, but I don't really get to very often. And every other year I get her for fall break. And so I've like been setting a bunch of things into motion to ensure that this October I can like really give my daughter my undivided attention. Uh, I've uh, got this new uh, thing set up Basically, I'm going to put my Patreon Discord in read-only mode for the month, um, and so I don't have to deal with anything there, and I'm going to, um, I've started, because the pinball machine stuff doesn't really depend too much on interacting with other hermits, and Halloween is coming up that time of year too, I'm hoping I'll be able to pre-record a bunch of videos, and I've started talking to my project manager about getting all that stuff sorted, so like, I'm feeling, even though it's like I could really use a break today, like knowing that I'm gonna get a real break yeah. and have meaningful time to spend with my daughter in October is already just a huge weight off me. I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm just glad. I'm excited for summer to be over. If I'm honest. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, funny fact: summer just here. Summer just started. I don't mean the temperature. I mean the school. No, I mean the school. Oh really? Wait, yeah, it just we, started. We... Yeah. Wow. Like literally this week. Um, like they just got out of school? Yeah. That's so weird. Okay. Yeah, so we're yeah, going back we, tomorrow. We, we go back in... Already? We... Wait, you go back tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Well, Arizona's weird because of the temperature and wow. stuff. They... Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. No, we we're go going back, back like the second September. week of August. So. Yeah, that's more that's more typical for East Coast and stuff too. Yeah. We go back... Um, we, we, we end at the end of July and then we go back at the beginning of September. So, yeah. But the good thing is they're changing the season. They're changing the school year. So, like, fall and spring break are going to be two weeks now. They basically mm -hmm. chopped two weeks off of summer, which is another reason we're going back so early. Oh. Uh, but we're going to have two week breaks in between, which I think is great. I think that's better. Nice. I mean, instead of one week. It's good for the children. I will say that. But as a teacher, yeah. you need that six week break. You need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, after after like right, I mean maybe it's different for teachers, but right now the kids the kids are just doing nothing. They're just on autopilot drool yeah. mode. Like they they need to do do something. Well, it kind of depends too, though. Like if you're able to get them enrolled in like programs over the summer, like day camps and stuff, where they can you know do yeah. stuff. That's yeah, know. we did some of that. Yeah, because um, like um, back when I had to work a full time day job, you know, I would take my kid to. Uh, science camp one week at the science center then zoo camp the next week at the zoo and then there might be you know something uh oh there's a scout camp one week and uh so you know she was actually like 
meeting a bunch of different kids. She'd see some of the kids from her own schools because, you know, like I would get tips from, you know, her friend's parents about, hey, where are you sending your kids? Oh, which weeks are you sending them? Cool. Yeah, let's do that. You know, so like she was at least doing something besides just looking at the TV all day, you know, but like those camps aren't cheap. And if I wasn't basically forced to send her because of uh, school or, or sorry, because of my day job, I, you know, she probably would have been at home and I'd be trying to get her to read. But it's hard to, you know, get the kids to not look at a screen when you're spending all your own time looking at a screen, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. No, oh, trust me, it's I'm like the biggest hypocrite, you know? You've been on that computer all day, go do something else. <laughs> I know. So have like, you, Dad, but I, it's, it's like, yeah. my job! It's my job, though, that's my response, but it's still yeah. hard. Well, and that's the sort of thing, too, that's one of the reasons I do all my editing on a laptop, because I can say, hey, get a book or something to draw, we're going to go to the coffee shop, I'm going to do my editing, and, you know... No, I couldn't do gonna... that. It must yeah. be so hard when your job is literally playing Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> just, just trying to explain to your kids, but no, it's still a job! Yeah. Well, I, I don't know, I think, uh, like, my daughter, because she's she understands that like this is an artistic venture this isn't just me goofing off like but you know she's grown up i've always been doing this you know i don't know sure. how old your kids are or you know tango like what their relationship is with this stuff but like uh, i think my kid gets it it's, it's been their whole life yeah they see how hard i work i think they know i work more than most people so <laughs> yeah but I... what I found is my friends get annoyed because their kids will say, I don't want to, I don't want to do my homework. And they'll say, if you don't do your homework, you're not going to get a job. And they'll say, but Joe Hills has a job. Oh yeah. Yeah. And he plays wow. Minecraft all day. And like those they kids don't see that, how hard that I job work. Is waiting right? for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, whereas my daughter like knows that it's a, a real thing and that I'm like running a business behind it. And like, she and I will talk about the financial side of stuff, like in broad strokes, like, you know, cause she's interested. Well, what if I become an artist one day, even if I don't play video games, what, what do I need to know to run that business? Right. You know? And, um, but yeah, the, my friends, kids, they just give them guff and it's like, ah, oh, come on, Joe. Yep. Can relate. Yeah, no, can't relate. It's fine. Although the kids, <laughs> when I when I quit my job, I actually told the children that I was going to do YouTube full time, and just the amount of just kids that were just obsessed immediately. They, you know, even they the ones had to that be didn't, so excited for you. Yeah. Yeah, even the ones that didn't didn't particularly like me because there's always like some of them. Um, they were just like. <gasps> How, how does did it they work? Know, you know, and it was did like, they know you did it beforehand? Um, they didn't know. It was I, okay. I, 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 like that's like mostly the reason why I never showed my face on camera. Right, right, right. I get it. Yeah, I would get fired like immediately. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Details. yeah, yeah. Like, I, well, I, I, I put the fact that I do video making in my um my application to to my last job and mm -hmm. um you know and i said that i'd i'd supported myself for a couple of months on it you know so because it was part of my job history because you know that kind of well you have a gap thing going on um but yeah, yeah no my head my headmaster had no clue that i did it so i'm just like so uh how much do you know about the youtube thing he goes well for a start i didn't know there was a youtube thing and I'm like, right, okay. Uh, that's a good, that's a good baseline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I told him, and it was just sort of like, look, look, things are happening in my life. If if I don't go now, I'll never get a house or anything like that. And he was just like, no, 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 I understand. You got to do what's best for you. And you know, if you if you ever need to come back, there's always a job for you here. But what YouTube things do you do? And I'm like, oh. Oh, so, I know. Yeah. Trust me, we're all very very familiar with that conversation yeah my mm -hmm. philosophy is give as little information as possible someone asks what i do i'm like i may i'm in video production or something i'll say oh and I'm, I, ho I work I'm hoping they just drop it i'm I hoping they just media. drop it right there because yeah. they're bored and then yeah. they're like oh what do you kind of and i'm like oh. and i like okay. have this sign inside okay uh well i do 
YouTube videos. And then once you say that, it's like no one drops it after that. No one. So like, after uh, you say uh, the uh, word YouTube yeah. for a living, yeah. and they're just like, how does that work? Yeah. And they were just like, it was like... <laughs> um, it's not, it's, yeah, it's not that I'm ashamed of it. It's that it's like... People it's an awkward previous... conversation. Yeah. They, they, they're they basically like, oh, so you're like a professional slacker. I get it. Wow. You're going to grow yeah, up anytime soon? Like... You know. <laughs> and I, it doesn't yeah. help because there are channels that like, yeah, yeah. like just talk to a camera and just get lots of money for it. And that's what a lot of people's experience of it is. They don't see the editing behind it. They don't know that, you know, that 30 minute video took four hours of editing just every yeah. flipping moment so yeah hey what's up with the floating moss here uh, uh be bothered yeah i don't know what tool to <gasps> use the pickaxe wasn't going very quickly so i figured that Look, was the wrong tango tool. tango would you rather have little bits of floaty moss no 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 with? this is fine you guys are doing a stand-up <laughs> job i love it i'll just jump and i'll just jump and poke and you guys <laughs> What level are we on now? We're on level. I don't know. 25. I, I so appreciate you guys helping though. This is great. Uh, it's all right. Uh, but it's all this right. is this is so fun though. I love just hanging out and chatting. Like yeah. This is completely brainless. Like when I'm like trying to like I, I'm working on my new axolotl shop and I'm like trying to figure out sculpturally how do I angle the whiskers of the axolotl to look right. Like that's like really mentally intense. Whereas this is just like I don't know. I hit the, the rock with the pick. It's fun. <laughs> I break rocks, yeah. Yeah, worst case, Cleo yells at me. Probably because of something I did, so I don't even have to, like, examine, like, wow, did I screw up there? Yeah, I just screwed up there. That's fine. Uh, Maybe that's what we should mistakes. When people ask what we do, we just say we break break rocks for a living. Yeah. I, I, I work, kind of I work or in uh, quarrying. Yeah. Which is fun, because that was, like, one of my day jobs. Oh, yeah. No, so my, my, my thing is I try to make it sound as pretentious as possible. So people, uh, uh, you know, I'm a self-employed artist. I do uh, video, perf I do performance art, primarily online, but occasionally, uh, you know, <laughs> at events and things like that. You know, I want people to think I'm a really, like, terrible mime. Like, like, do you really want to hear from somebody who does pretentious performance art about <laughs> what they do? <laughs> I suppose people will just be like, oh, just out of, yeah. I don't want to hear the rest of this, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had moments where I go, Oh, I make videos for a living. And then they just get this kind of, oh, really? Kind of look. I'm like, not those kind of videos. Oh, yeah, that's one of the stop. reasons that I stopped saying, that's one of the st reasons I stopped saying, like, I do uh, video production and editing. Because um, then it's like, really? Out here? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotype yeah. much? Yeah. Not much of an industry here for much. So what does that, what does that mean, huh? Mm, yeah, no. It's, it's, yeah, no one's uh, interestingly made that mistake with me for some reason. I'm not sure why. <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing is, the people that made that comment to me were teachers mostly. And I'm like, oh, could you get your mind out of the gutter for five minutes? You're supposed to be educators. Come on. So, yeah. The filthiest minds in the world. I swear <laughs> to God. But, yeah, no. There's a lot of that talk when i talk about making videos so yeah yeah luckily like nashville has like a music production scene too so it's not mm. completely weird there's a lot of uh yeah be a self-employed artist artistry you know? kind of jobs there yeah 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 and it's like, uh, you know, oh, that's the other thing is I objectively, I, like, I really, it's like, well, so, you know, and th when they say, oh, what kind of art do you do? It's like, oh, you know, I do all sorts of stuff. I do performance art. I do songwriting. I've got a, p a Patreon for my poetry. Um, you know, like. Oh, God, you know, I as soon as you mention poetry, it does sound I, really pretentious. Right? Right? Yeah, I wouldn't. I would, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I people, would stop people, asking. Yeah. Um, and then later on, they're like, wait, you make Minecraft videos, too. I'm like, yeah, that was in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, that, that's part Minor of it. Yeah. That's, that's that's a part of it, but like I'm really excited. I've got this, uh, you know, wait, but like it's like oh, you know, I'm also I'm, I've got some pinball design I'm working on. Like, well, the thing is, I gave up. Like for some reason, every time I go to a business, like when I went to my vet, one of the things that they asked me for like record keeping is, oh, what's your job? And I just go, I just go, I I pause with my mind blank, and I went, I do YouTube. And then I had to have a conversation with my vet 
whilst they had their finger up my cat's butthole. Right, right. About... <laughs> it's just like, I don't yeah, they, do they, this. the conversations come at the at the worst times. Yeah. He's like, oh. He's just like, I right, can we just no? How about no? Is no an yeah. option? It's like, oh. And it's it's the lack of boundaries that as soon as you mention that you got YouTube, they're just like, oh, I know something about that. Let me tell you everything I know. So do you do videos yeah. like this guy and this guy? Do you know this person? No. No, I don't. There's millions and millions of people on YouTube. Why would I know that person? Well, you're making a living from it, so you must. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, I don't even know everybody who makes Minecraft videos, let yeah, alone every. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh, have you seen this guy? He does home improvement stuff, and I'm like, that. No, no. <laughs> absolutely but, like, not. I'm, I'm glad that you found something cool for you. I, I that was that's something like I would love to do home improvement videos. I would Same. love to buy a house and do videos of me like just straight up working on the house because I'm like, wow, this is so much more tax deductible now. All these supplies are, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, um, but yeah, it would, it would be very cool to have like a series of like, I, I want to buy like a creepy old Adams family house and just renovate it. The money pit. Yeah. But it's only a money pit if you lose money. And that's, that's where that's the YouTube why we're and the Patreon the comes back. Yeah, that's why we're making the videos. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, you, like, you can do anything on YouTube and it would be tax deductible at this point because it's your business. Well, I'm really trying to not lean on that too hard. and So that way, like, because right now I don't really have that many expenses, right? Mm -hmm. So the last thing I do is get audited and get, get a flag on my account for doing dumb stuff like that over like $35 of this or $25 of that. Yeah, but yeah totally when I buy that it. house, you know, I want to come in with a completely clean record and, you know, be like, <laughs> well, look at all these videos with 80,000 people watching them of me renovating this house. This is a legitimate business expense. You know? Um, and at that point I would also hire an actual accountant to be like, okay, well you can write off some of this, but not these parts. And then it's like, okay, that's the parts I'll write off. You know, I'll do it right when I, when it time does come. But yeah, I'm not going to screw around with that now over like, you know, I bought this Jay and Silent Bob DVD and I work in film. So obviously that's tax deductible. Like uh, it was five dollars in a bin. I, I can I can pay five dollars. My, my, my entire Steam library is tax deductible. So <laughs> there I you mean, go. Technically, it's, it is. That's you know, yeah, I, I'll, I'll defend that any day of the week. Well, that's the thing is you can't, yeah, a lot of that stuff is defendable if you get called out on it, but I'm just like trying to avoid getting called out. You don't right even now. want to show up on the radar. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like, it, this is one of those things too. Like when people are like, Joe, why are you so against underage drinking? And I'm like, if you want to break into a government facility later, um, <laughs> you need to have a clean record to get the, your job application accepted. You need to get in the door legitimately, and you're going to have a lot of problems with extra stuff on your record. You know, if you want to break the big laws later, you got You got to follow the little ones now. Set yourself up for success. <sighs> I do appreciate you planning for the crime, Joe. I mean, Cleo, is there even like, this is a dumb question, but what's uh -huh. the equivalent of the IRS? And is it, a, is it something HMRC. that everyone who does? Is, is it Her is, Majesty's is, Revenue Service or? It's Her something? Majesty's something or other. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, so much majesty. So is everyone like essentially terrified of, of them and getting, is it like no, here most, where it's just like, don't want to get on with them at all. Most people don't. Most people, if you have a regular job, you are. Um, says a mode only. You, um, you do pay as you earn, which is um, basically your 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 employer tells the government they earn this much, and then your employer is responsible for sending the tax to them. Because, like, I, I remember, you know, I talked to Zed, and I'm like, yeah, I'm doing taxes this week, and he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I'm completely stressing over my taxes. I can't figure out this, that, and how complicated it is, and all the things I got to do, and the fear Zed of doing it wrong. Should absolutely and... be doing taxes, though. <laughs> well, he is, but he just always downplays. He's like, it takes me like 20 minutes, and I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, taxes doesn't take that long. Ta taxes takes you um, like an hour. Like, yeah, max? So that's that sounds that's amazing. That's not the case for me. No, yeah, it takes me about a week. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, for me, it's like it's, I've got all these different like... revenue streams. Like, you know, like I get uh, royalties for when my songs are played on Spotify. Now, it might be $27 a year for my songs being played on Spotify, but that's a separate thing. That's a revenue stream I have to declare. Well, what we, what we have to do is we have to say, in this build, in this business, how much did you earn? And you tell them how much you weren't. And they go, oh, do you have any other business? Do you, are you sell, employed elsewhere? And you put in how much that is and how much tax you've already paid um, through the pay as you earn scheme. And then it's a case of, um, okay, do you have like any of these, like capital gains, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Then, you know, and then it's okay. Okay, based on this, you need to pay this much in uh, national insurance. You need to pay this much in just general tax. You need to pay this one in NICS, which is healthcare stuff for self-employed people. Um, and you're done. Go. I, I would like that. <laughs> yeah, yes, please. That, that sounds like a I yes mean, I had saver. to pay. I had to pay in NICS last year because it's based on how much you earn, obviously. Um, Does everyone pay into that or just the, the self-employed? Well, um, the self-employed do NICS, um, but national insurance is for everyone else. Right, um, right, right which is taken off by your employer. Um, I think I played something like <laughs> just... 400 in mix last year. That doesn't um, feel like a lot. It, it, it's not, but then I was earning much less than I did this year. So this year I will be paying probably about a thousand. Mm hmm. So, but that's only on that particular tax. Yeah. For yeah. for national it's insurance, you 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 have a separate. So like I pay a social security tax that's separate from my income tax, although it yeah. is based on social security. Yeah. Or sorry, it's... although although social security tax amount is based on income. Right. There's income so pay... tax. We have income tax, which is um, it my state is in my position. It's like about twenty ish percent, but I also get. A something like ten thousand that I can earn free of any tax whatsoever. I want to move there. I mean, uh, if you need a sponsor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like Tango. Seriously, as soon as my kid goes off to college, I want to move to Scotland. Like that's kind of where I would like to go too. I'm moving I, I'm basically... to Scotland. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks, copycat. But actually, also give I me some it... tips when you get there, because. Oh, I said it first. I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> dibs. <laughs> yeah, dibs on Scotland. Call, call it's like, oh, you know, I'm going to go to Cornwall. Oh, like okay. oh, sorry. The, the, uh, but yeah, the like, I, I would, I, I love the idea of, of just, like, ha having that to look forward to once my kid goes off to college. Just being like, okay, I've been stuck in the United States so long. Now I can hop on a train and go to France or Spain. You know, like, yeah, it would just be amazing. There's honestly no reason to do what we do in this country. <laughs> it would be smart to go to another country. Yeah, because of the custody situation, I can't. No, I get it. I get it for you. Country, for you, but, of course. You know, yeah. But yeah, yeah. If you're in a situation where you could afford to like just go, like, yeah. I mean, seriously, if you if you if you want to come to the UK, I mean, the UK is not the the best option, but it's it's like it's an English speaking option. With universal healthcare. It, yeah, it, it, it'd, be, it'd either be Canada or or UK, probably UK, but it's it's not a realistic thing, anyways. It's just a dream someday, you know. Yeah. Some, well, well, someday me, I've... dreams happen all the time. Yeah, especially when I'm asleep. I hate you, Joe. Just, just. But yeah, just my, so my you grandmother know. was from Scotland, and so just the idea of going back there, and especially if they become their own country, like being somebody who's like helping be a part of building that like she she always dreamed of a uh, independent scotland and like i don't mm -hmm. feel a sense of family duty to go do this but the fact that what i want to do and what she would have been really proud of are in such close alignment is nice i don't know if that makes any sense i would also like an independent scotland once i get there yeah, 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 we need to get there before they I go need, independent. Then, then I make it happen, yeah. need to get there before before it becomes independent, personally. Yeah, so so if they <laughs> if they do become independent, they might do a, like a right of return type thing where they're like, hey, anybody who's 
great grandparents were Scottish or something like that. If you'd like to move to Scotland and you are, you know, university educated or have certain skills, like I would hope that I could argue that I'd be a net plus to the nation of Scotland. Uh, I really would l like to hit that bar. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Well, at this point, it's a case of um, the bar is really difficult to hit um, unless you're kind of marrying in, you know? It's it's like I would imagine so, yeah. So, you know. <sighs> but anyway, yeah. I've, uh, um hopefully I can get there before they go. You know what? Let's have a referendum. See if we see if we're leaving the UK. And Is that really they... a thing that's like going to happen? Um, they've had well, multiple referendums. It's happened really? before. The, yeah. The reason that they failed though was because um because of the uh, breakaway Catalan region of Spain, the EU has a rule that if you leave an EU nation to become your own country, you can't join the EU. You're ineligible for EU membership at that point. Uh. And so Scotland was like, well, we would love to break off from England, but we aren't willing to give up being part of the EU over it. But now that England has left the EU, there's no penalty for Scotland breaking mm -hmm. off from England. Mm -hmm. And the... the the uh, the question is, will the government let them have the referendum? Because, like, no, you had one in your lifetime. You're not allowed another one. Ugh. It's like, well, the referendum was based in an entirely different situation, you know, back when oh, we were part no, of the EU. Oh, no, you don't have to don't have to tell me. It's like, it's like, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I'm... <laughs> we have a lot of people listening. Sometimes, sometimes I over-explain things to Cleo. It's like, I'm not trying to patronize you, Cleo, but we do have, like, a global audience of hundreds of people, you know. So sometimes summarizing is, you know, a thing. Yeah, but you do always do it to me. And it's like, I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cleo. You will be. I know. <laughs> this is why I'm going to move to the other side of Scotland from Cleo. So if she's really well, mad at me, she's going to have to. I haven't decided what side of Scotland I'm technically Well, you said you didn't want to live in the part that I wanted to live in. Well, that's so... only because you're going to be there. This is where Joe gets really hurt when I say think, say mean things. No, and like, I'm not really hurt. <laughs> really? Because you sound really hurt. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a professional performance artist. You can learn more no, about no, my no, poetry no. on Herman's Patreon. Aren't good actors. Reddit has told me that multiple times. Everything that you we feel. Um... Spoken to. Oh no. <laughs> Terrible you speak when spoken to. <laughs> I love that thing so much. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> best horn ever. Uh, can I get one of them? Uh, absolutely can. Yes, everyone needs one. <laughs> everyone needs. Everyone needs to play them to B dubs whenever B dub speaks. He's already trying to get royalty rights, like a, a commission on each time it's played, which is smart of his on his side, I'd say. I oh mean, yeah. He was statistically due for his uh, his annual good idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I tried to sneak up on Scar during his stream earlier because Scar's always freaking me out during my streams by mm -hmm. sneaking up on me and yelling "hot guy." Well, so I got an invisibility potion and mm -hmm. a splash potion of regeneration. I drank the invisibility potion. I, I snuck up on him and I threw it and I screamed wet guy and <laughs> he apparently didn't have his audio on and was monologuing about being nervous about MCC and suddenly goes why do I have particle effects anyway you know I, I feel like I'm doing better at MCC than I thought I would and I'm like ah, you can't even he didn't even hear it yeah yeah he didn't even hear it so I need I need a horn that yells wet guy clearly Clearly, you might yeah. be on your own for that one, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, there, there are certain hermits have catchphrases that they just need on a horn, and they need to sell those horns. Well, and then the and the best part is now all the hermits could do catchphrases for other people. I think it's great. We share the <laughs> share the jokes. Maybe that's my goal. I need to get a horn of every hermit and what they're best known for doing or saying. 
That could work. And, that could absolutely yeah. work. So would Cleo's be... This is fine. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's Pro fine. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I do say that a lot. <laughs> Mostly when it's not fine. Yeah. There's, there's a pretty clear inverse correlation there. <laughs> It's a lot of digging. I'm now just digging down this one specific hole. I mean, as long as we're removing blocks. It's all know, good, yeah. They all gotta go. <laughs> Everything must go. Sail on stone. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Why did you choose, out of curiosity, why did you choose this bit specifically? This location, you mean? Yeah. I mean, it's under my base. Okay, so so nothing special about the, for deck tab no. two, we need to have. No, there was not much criteria. I think the the triple spider spawner there was a little bit of a benefit. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that there, the caves go, there's some pretty good open caves underneath. Ah. Um, so that if I want to go, like, you know, significantly below zero, that it shouldn't be that hard mm -hmm. without having to break too much uh, deep sleep. <laughs> I, oh, no. We're going to come back in a, in a few, in a couple of months and do a deep slate run, aren't we? That's what's uh, going to happen. It's fine, Cleo. <laughs> if we yeah, do, it'll out be... Yeah, 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> if we do, it'll be with uh, the deep mossy deck. whatever it is. Mo Mossy You, you digging? can dig with moss. Yeah, moss digging or whatever it is. Oh, I don't know. I've never yeah, done it. Yeah, you bone meal the moss to spread right. it, and then you... And then you get into mine. Break. Oh, why have I never thought of that before? That really? Seems like a, it, does, yeah. it doesn't make sense for stone, but if you're digging out deep slate... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good two-person job to have one person go and, you know, plant and bone meal, and the person behind them dig and clear. That sounds cool. I could totally do that. I would be willing to even. So long as all my blackstone needs are met. It's all that I need. <laughs> well, I mean, three shulkers isn't a very demanding needs. You're good. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a very demanding person. No. <laughs> so it's, it's handy. That. You will give me 27 blackstone right now. <gasps> okay. <laughs> How dare I refuse? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I made a gravel shop, um, but I feel like I need to make a concrete one because I've Wait, been digging out gravel. Season? Yeah, Where we've not seen it? the tiny little house in the in the thing. No, I didn't bring a microscope. Well, <laughs> I hate you, Joe. So just so you know. But I also legitimately had no idea it existed. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm honestly surprised no one's made, like, concrete, wool, all the basics. Oh, well, there's, uh, there's a wool, wool shop. Oh, that's right. He does have the wool shop. I bought but, from him. What am I saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the concrete one, though, it's just such a hassle. You know? It is. Yeah. And particularly when you're me and you don't do, like, farms and stuff, you just dig things out by hand. So I can do the gravel because I found a gravel biome. You know, I don't mind digging out the gravel, but I don't really want to. I'll sell you. I'll sell you the. I'll sell you the dyes. You know, but yeah, you make your own concrete. I've, I've actually, I've I've got a great concrete making machine now. I'm just I don't have shops this season, so I can't do it. Otherwise, I'd I'd make a ton of money on concrete, probably. Probably, yeah. yeah. Maybe you could lease machine time to there somebody. You go. Like find a business partner who's like, you know, Tango Tech. I will pay you uh, twelve diamonds a week to rent this machine. I mean, it would be the only way I would I would make a concrete shop. Yeah. So, although to be fair, I was always slightly annoyed that the concrete that people did was was pre kind of, you know. Would you rather it be the powder? I'd rather it be the powder because then I've got a choice. Oh, and when interesting. I text, when I texture things, I, I like the yeah, powder. Yeah, no, you're absolutely there. right. Mm -hmm. So. Well, it'd be one thing to sell, you know, sell them both. A good shop would sell both and have the. That's the true. stuff that's pre-made be a little bit more expensive since you're paying for labor. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, for my uh, axolotl shop, I ended up using a lot of powdered concrete to get the right kind of shade of pink I was going for. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Which is weird because most of your build is underwater. Yeah, that was a particular challenge. So the thing is, for the underwater parts, I used coral for to get the right shade of pink. Right. Because like I wanted it to be more saturated there. Uh, so I had areas like, okay, I can't use the coral above the water, and I can't use the powder below. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, like... I was, for for my build that I'm doing, I was, I was in the process of trying to figure out how to get coral um, fans on my. Um on the wall of my building because it's atlantis you need some coral you know and then i just like you can waterlog leaves i didn't know that you could waterlog leaves so now i've got like a you little... can waterlog stairs now too did you try doing that um yeah but the thing <laughs> is the like place... what <laughs> well no i can do that but it's just sort of like where... there's no stairs where i need the oh well i mean you could play some sideways so they look like blocks or... i don't know there's just curious never mind it's fine it's fine. It's just it's just my inner walls are inner walls rather than double double banded, so to speak. So. Gotcha. But it's a thing. I've got a monstrosity of a gradient going on there, so you know it's kind of like a you can't mess with it really. Everyone's telling me that Scar has my pickaxe. I don't know why, but which pickaxe is that? I don't know. I must have dropped one at his place or something. You got, you got, well, like... I mean, you got a whole box of them over here, too. So. I know, I know. It's not like you're running short on them. Pinballs! <laughs> Probably from when he murdered me. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, when it comes to Scar, anything about him murdering me is like, which time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but he has just gotten so good with that bow. He keeps one yeah. shot killing me. I started carrying a totem around like nonstop when he's online. People are like, that totem's ruining your videos. I'm like, you know what also ruins my videos? Getting killed every <laughs> shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's got to have more player kills than anyone on the server by far. Probably yeah, twice as many. Sure. He's, he's yeah, very I also much like at the that point. he. Gone. No, I like that he also refuses to install the status mod so we can see when we're on Do Not Disturb. I'm like Scar, I really can't be bothered right now. He's like, mm, there's evidence to the contrary. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of glad that I don't. I'm not on when Scar's on. You know. He's always online when I'm online. Yeah, that's because you live in the, uh, the same time zone, more or less, so... Yeah, two hours away from each other, but his sleep cycle, like, aligns with Joe, that. did you say totems were ruining your videos? Well, no, I mean, I know there is a, uh, there, there's a, like, thing that you can do to make them smaller. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so I just, uh, I don't know. I, I feel weird about doing too much of those uh, vanilla tweaks things, because, yeah. like... I, I hate the idea that a parent, like, is asked by their kid, how do you do this in Minecraft? And then the parent can't figure out how to do it without installing some ludicrous chain of mods or yeah. add-ons or, you know, like. Mm -hmm. So I just try to do stuff as vanilla as possible and just throw Scar under the bus every chance I get. <laughs> so it's a fair play, fair play. Yeah. Just blame Scar for everything. It's fine. You know, if Scar hadn't killed me, then then I wouldn't have. I don't know. What's a typically Joe thing to happen? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if I knew, I would be able to anticipate them in advance because they're all bad. <laughs> they're not all bad. But, but a lack of pattern recognition and object permanence is one of the problems <laughs> I'm trying to address by getting more sleep. <laughs> I shouldn't find that as funny as I do, but I find that really funny. <laughs> oh man, when my when my kid was born and I. That was like really when the not getting sleep thing started for me, and I'm like still I'm not caught up. It's yeah, like, no surprise there. Like object permanence was the first thing to go. Like I would come out of my bedroom and trip on something in the middle of it, like a toy or something, and I would just be like, I forgot that this existed. I would be startled that this toy was in the apartment. I was like, where did this come from? <laughs> it's like I'm too tired. I I have days like that. But for me, they're only days. For you, Joe, it's been years now. So yeah, it's 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 been a decade. I really, I really need to get a break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Has it been a decade? I suppose it has. Uh, my kid's like nine years old now, so. Oh, Jesus. Times are flying. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I just remember Joe say, Joe, telling me that she'd be born, and it's like, oh, well done, congratulations. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, the doctors did a lot of the work. It's not like I hand delivered her in the back of a boat or something. You know, you know but that would have been a really good story, Joe. <laughs> that's, I was just going to oh, say, that's a good story there. <laughs> yeah. That, next time. So it's I have like, any more. It's like my friend has a story. It's just like the last time I delivered a baby was when the Olympic torch was coming through our town. And then I, and then I delivered the baby and I got to hold the Olympic torch afterwards and got in the paper from <laughs> Like, Baby wow. in one hand, torch in the other. That's yeah, much, multitasking yeah. right there. Yeah. She was just sort of like, well, this woman was obviously giving birth at this wedding, and it was like a case of, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna have to deliver this baby because everyone else is there is saying, call an ambulance. I'm like, that's great if the ambulance was going to be here instantly. This woman is right. giving birth now. <laughs> Like, we should do both so that the ambulance can arrive if there's any complications, but we can't pretend the baby isn't on its way. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, like, yeah, that's a good story. And I'm, I'm, you know, really proud that I can tell somebody else's story on stream. Because I don't have a, you know, when I was forced to deliver a baby story. I, I mean, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. But everybody should have that time I had to deliver that baby as a story. I don't, I don't I mean, know. I've I don't watched, know. Like, I, there's, watched... there's also people like B-dubs, though. And it's like, maybe, maybe, maybe not everybody needs one of those, Cleo. <laughs> See, I, I was, I was going to say, I've watched Call the Midwife several times. I can get, deliver a baby. And then, yeah, now, now, Easy, now that right? you say it. Yeah, like, like, no problem. Um... I saw a PowerPoint on this, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of B-Dubs' PowerPoints? <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting the PowerPoint. That's all I can say. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure this is I have this problem when I go to indie movies sometimes where I'm like the only one laughing and I can't tell if it's because like nobody else gets that it's a joke or because I'm wrong that it's a joke. Uh, <laughs> the awkward like, laugh. So, yeah, so I didn't unmute my mic, but I was cackling the whole time. I'm like, oh my god, B Dubs, this is amazing. But like, I think B Dubs was just excited to make a PowerPoint because in his old day job, he never got to do that. So like, in the same ways that we're excited about certain things that we never got to do that we can do now, he's excited about PowerPoint. What I think, is, is I this think... a meeting I missed, or what is this? Oh, were you not there? Well, you know, I, I missed not... the last one. Oh my god, you were not there. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, no, we're talking about a real meeting where B Dubs had this like elaborate PowerPoint about something. I don't want to say what because, like, uh, that's right. It's, it's, not, it's, it's irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, like it was like, like if you've ever seen a 13 year old make a PowerPoint. That. Yeah, yeah. It was it was like a school presentation PowerPoint. Like, he read about what needs to go in the PowerPoint. Right. And then he made sure to put it in. Yeah. And Knowing beat there were stick figures involved gifts, too. Everything. It was like Oh okay. my gosh. And and like I I I was just <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I I, I, I realized at the end I, that it was like a real thing. And I was really and you were just glad that I was at him the whole time. <laughs> but, but like I wasn't I was muted though. I was on push to talk. Uh -huh. And I didn't ruin his presentation. But, like, I absolutely would have if I wasn't on Push to Talk. And I like, genuinely don't know if it was a bit or not. I, I'm convinced now that it wasn't, based on, like, how everybody else treated it and how he continued after. I'm, I feel like if it was a bit, he, would, he wouldn't have had the, the... He's not the sort of guy who wouldn't be able to yell, got ya, right? <laughs> that seems like a lot of effort for a Hermitcraft meeting. If it was in a video, I would say, yeah, he planned it, but... No, that and that's the thing, though, is, like... I, you know, I, I think he's just trying to show us that he can be professional. We all think of him as the funny guy, but, like, mm -hmm. you know, he's here to work, wants to be taken seriously. And, like, oh. but I I, appre I appreciate the effort. I do. Yeah. But, like, he, he's, he stepped outside of his comfort zone in a way that he didn't have to in his previous career. And, and like, it was it was a good thing for him to try to do. But, like... It was definitely. It like, was quite funny. 
<laughs> it was very funny. I'm, I'm sad I missed it now. By it the way, uh, stream might be almost wholesome. over. Sorry, what? This we're is out, where we're, we're officially out of picks. Oh, no. oh, I've, I've got, got I've the got, last one I'm on. I've got another yeah. one pick that you can come and grab. Yeah. I've got one at like 80%. You have one on you, Cleo? Or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I took two. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Da, da, da. So yeah, like like I do like I do like the fact that it was just sort of like a And he wasn't like being sticky through the whole thing and laughing like No oh, right. as you can not, see he here was, through he my was... expert rah 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 right like that's no, totally no, no. something he would do. Nothing like that. He was he he was he was he was he was trying to be serious. Like he's Which legit. Like funnier. I put something together to hope sell my point. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like. Yeah, he's like. I, I know I a think. lot of us are very mm. visual people, and you know, I don't want to just come in here and talk at you guys for fifteen minutes. That's and awesome. so I prepared he's some right. illustrations and some diagrams. Right. Yeah. And, you know, and but like, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. It was an experience. <laughs> like you got. You got to come to meetings. Like, I, I make almost all of them. I didn't make that one. Yeah, oh, you do you come to out. you do come to almost all of them. So that's that's yeah. Fine. I, I, think... I I didn't realize that you weren't there. I wasn't like I didn't start telling this story without. Oh, that's fine. Without that's real... fine. Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> it 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 was it was one of those moments in Hermitcraft that we can really never tell anybody outside the server except all the people that are watching. <laughs> Well, right, I mean, right, we can't go into detail. People, yeah. We can't go into detail. But, like, I mean, I, I will say, though, it made me think, though, like, if B-Dubs is willing to get outside of his comfort zone and, like, try something different to communicate an idea to the group, like, what could I be doing? And I, I haven't answered that question yet, but, like, how can mm -hmm. I get outside my comfort zone and push myself in ways? Because a lot of times I end up leaning on stuff that it's like, oh, I used to do something like this for my old day job, right? Yeah. I'm uh -huh. not... I'm not doing the stuff that I never did before, uh, you know. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I mean, I, I most mostly I just want to be, like, I'm still working on being competent at this, you know. It's like I am very aware of how much I don't know, so. It's a learn as you go process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's just sort of like, like before I, like even before I quit my day job. Like I, I was, I was like, no, I've got a fairly good. I've been doing this for years. I got a fairly solid <laughs> handle on it. I'm and a then pro, when I just, yeah, yeah like I, I'm doing this professional. I'm being paid. And then I, then and then, like I quit my job. And then I'm like, okay, how can I hone my skills? And then I was like, oh my god, why? Ha I'm, oh, I'm yeah. an embarrassment. Why haven't I been doing this this whole time? Mm -hmm. You know? And it's like, oh. so yeah. Well, I always say this is a job that everyone teaches themselves, and we're all doing it wrong. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Well, definitely. I, I started doing my own VFX post-production work, like, uh -huh. like compositing video in front of other things. Like, So I had like a drive-in movie um, theater um, screen, and I was like, I'm going to do this whole bit where I'm piloting a boat in front of the screen, and I'm going to match this other video feed onto the screen. And I'm like, I know technically how to do this, and it shouldn't take that long. Well, the first part was true. I did technically know how to do it, but what I didn't understand was how long it would take to, like, map the corners of the video feed onto the corners of the drive-in movie screen every frame. Because, like, oh, I had yeah, done something similar before where I had, like... Forever. Yeah, I had, like a single motion where I would go move past something and then you can use like keyframes and blending. But when you're erratically piloting a boat in front of something, I was like, oh my gosh, I've committed nope. to doing like 12, 15 hours of VFX work on this. That was a stupid idea. Need to not do that again. And then I started um, looking at like, okay, what are some plugins for the different video software that's supposed to like automate parts of this? And, like, almost none of them work well with the environments, like, in Minecraft. They're all designed for, like, real, real life. Real life photos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, what if, what if I do this? What if I do that? And I'm tweaking a bunch of stuff. And what it came back down to was, nope, this is such a suboptimal environment for this. If I'm going to, if I want to do a lot of this stuff, I'm going to be set in the corners frame by frame. Uh, or I just need to keep the camera still 
and then set it once and keep it there. Right. Which is not as visually impressive, but, like, I think a lot of viewers would see something like that in the background and go, oh, it's cool that Joe figured out how to do that in, like, you know, 15 minutes, so he could do it in <laughs> no, every No, no, that was three days, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 it's just every episode takes forever now. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, so I, I sometimes get, like, paralysis when I think about just what I'm going to have to do to make my next video and it's just sort of like I'm just gonna do oh, something else yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not and then you get well, a video I... that doesn't come out and it's just sort of like everybody has a go and it's like yeah well I could do that or I could just panic you know that's fine, that's fine. this morning I had a, an idea for my next video and I was like oh that's gonna be so good but then I realized that's probably eight hours of editing to do what I want to do mm -hmm. I was yeah. like oh, I don't know I don't know that I can do it now I'm we'll I'm see. trying to pick up like little editing tricks in my brain and I I I'm struggling with it a little bit. Just a touch. Um so yeah, like I, I sometimes look at other people's videos and go, okay, so what's a clear way of doing this? And I'm just like, you would never do that. And I'm like, you're right. Right, 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 right. I I, I need to start though. <laughs> so yeah. That kind of stuff, though, is, is really satisfying when it's done. I'll say that. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I keep on trying, and I keep on I keep on doing a bit better each time. And then, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, I'm downloading programs. I'm learning how to do stuff. And it's going to be awesome once I've figured out how everything works. And I, I keep on looking about the people who have done this for less time and how much quicker they seem to pick these things up and i'm just like i'm that old person in a, in a <laughs> in 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 your workplace that's done things uh -huh. by the book for years <laughs> and now i need to learn like a whole new set of skills you'll get Joe's, there joe is the only one collecting stuff yep yeah yeah, yeah well, i'm not i'm not i mean the thing is like i said i just the scale that my pinball machine is at. I haven't selected the block palette for everything yet, but like it's 256 blocks deep and 128 blocks wide. I'm going to need a lot of everything sooner or later, mm -hmm. or I'm going to need to be able to barter for it, right? So, you know, I like, I'm collecting I like how, stuff. I like how we all just chose this side of the, the canyon to work with. Although I suppose I've been over here, right now. Tango's over there. Well, you can see what happens, the difference between two people and one person then, because it's about the same size. I think I'm about to to end this pick. Okay, I've got about half of mine left. <laughs> that sounded like such a dark threat. Uh, I'm going to end this end pick. This pick. <laughs> it's the last thing Your I do. Your time has come. <laughs> so mostly we're digging out space for redstone, right? That's what it feels like. Uh, no, the four levels of the actual dungeon, too, are, are down here. Uh, the whole game will be, be down here. It's going to be really massive, excited. yeah. I never actually got uh, Did to you play not play the other one. I, oh. I played a little bit. I played a little bit of the original, not much. But it's a case of I'm looking forward to this one because I was going through some like stuff when it was in full uh -huh. swing. And then I got into it like, like about four weeks after everybody else and everybody else was awesome. And people were going, well, why yeah. aren't you good? And I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't get do good. this to myself. You let me know. I'll, I'll get you some. I'll get you keys to the dungeon whenever you want. There you go. Thank for you. helping me dig. Oh, for, you know that's the best thing. Free keys to the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those are hard to get. I mean, I will say, decked out was one of my favorite. Like season eight was great in so many ways, but decked mm. out was really stands out as. as yeah, you one have of to say that, Joe, because we were working together. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> were we? No, you're talking... You're, oh, wait, no, sorry. Season 7. Where we were not working together, Cleo. No, no, no. When Decked no. Out was... Yeah, that was Season 7, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, that, that, like, that was a really fun season in a lot of ways. But Decked Out was just so great because it got everybody down in that lobby trading uh, stuff yeah. with each other. And I got to say, Tango, I love Clank. Um, I've actually got... The board game Clank, you played it? Oh, yeah. I've got Clank. Oh, okay, great. I've got the legacy version of it, which I haven't been able to play with people because of the pandemic. I've got two expansions, mm -hmm. uh, the different uh, Acquisitions Incorporated expansions, which I have hand-painted the uh, miniatures from. Is there like, more than one Acquisition? I thought they, I mean, they did legacy, but do they have another yeah, one? No, 
So well, so legacy. Yeah, the Yak Inc. Legacy is a full game, but then. Um, I, yeah, I guess right. technically the other yeah, there's the senior management expansion pack and then there's oh, the yeah, C team that. expansion pack. And I got both of those and I hand painted all the miniatures and like uh Clue nice. was actually there with me on stream for that. Uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, so I'm a huge fan of Clank. I also a enjoy game. a lot of the other games you mentioned, like Dominion. I used to play yep. so much Dominion. Um You should get yeah. the uh get the Steam game. There's a version of it on Steam that came out and it's really good and it's free. See, the thing I worry about that, though, is I, I like, that will get in the way of me getting real work done. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Right? Trust me, I know. Like, <laughs> like um, if I've, like, that's one of the nice things. So right now I'm renting a pinball machine. And so, like, when I need a gaming break from my editing, I can step away from the computer and, like, look at a physical mechanical machine. Because um, the problem is if I take a break to play a different computer game, I don't want to come back to the computer when I'm done with my break. Right? Yeah and edit it's just i don't know i i need to really get away um so yeah i'm that sounds like a fantastic thing for like when i have a vacation or something someday but, yeah yeah but I'm, i mean I'm probably just at gonna... some point we're going to end up retiring at some point yeah maybe i mean one way or another yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, one of those ways of retiring is not the best, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this, the, the decked out this season is going to be, it's going to like make the first one look like a little, tiny little game. I mean, the, awesome. the first one was scary enough, so I'm looking forward to this one. I like, like I played a few games and got killed by Ravagers every time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I loved yeah. the Ravager name tagging element because it's like yep. now you have to find a Ravager to name tag it. Yeah, but totally if you already back. have one, uh, then you risk running into your own Ravager and then wasting the name tag. Oh, God. Yeah, that's definitely one of the things that we're going to keep. Oh, I'm going to have so to watch glad. people people do runs so I know what the heck is going on. Oh, well, yes. uh, Cleo, you know, if you want, we could do do that, like, as, like, a joint thing. Like, we can be on stream, and I'll, like, share my, uh, or not necessarily on stream, but I can screen share via Discord my game, and you can be watching what I'm seeing, and I can kind of coach you through it as one of the episodes. And then like, you can laugh at him when he gets eaten. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do, I mean, that, I do that, laugh. A, I do laugh. So, yeah, that'd yeah. be a fun collab thing. So you can kind of see it through my eyes live and be asking questions, and then I, I can be screwing remember, up. I can't remember, but we... we, we... I was in um, ghost mode at one point, and we went through things together. Oh, maybe I'm suggesting something we literally did. Yeah, maybe you did that on your Spectator account last year, or in Season I think 7. I did, and I yeah. Just... And I, I was like, I that did. was such a great idea. I'll suggest it again without remembering. I think I, I think you were the one that suggested it the first time, so it's not like it's a separate... Uh, yeah. A se it's it's, it's you not know, like you're Good stealing, artists like... borrow, great artists steal from Joe <laughs> Hills. <even laughs> if it though. was a good idea once, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you you seem to you seem to to enjoy doing it as well, mind you. You 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 just enjoyed being in decked out. I'm thinking, so it was, like it was a great time, and I'm I'm really appreciative, Tango, that you're letting us help you get this going. Because oh, uh, you're appreciative. Come on, you're saving me hours here. So I'm, yeah, but I'm you're building totally... content for everyone on the server. Exactly. Everyone will get a lot of content out of it. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, and yeah. you're working at a scale that like you weren't last time, and like you know, like I'm I'm excited that you're able to do this in a way that yeah. you'll be proud of, and feels like a true sequel, and not just like ah, eh, we're doing this. Again, I mean, I guess. everything yeah, no, people I don't are doing it. at the moment is is bigger, you know. That I'm does seem to be the theme. Everyone's going pretty big this season, which is good. I mean, I mean, I think it's to do with the fact that season nine we had to go small because we knew that we weren't going to be right. able to, you know. Well, also, literally, the world height is is higher. Like my build would have been impossible last season because I couldn't. Oh yeah. Have gone as so to get it, I wanted the pinball machine's surface to be the size of two maps, so you could like mm -hmm. create a model of it in game uh -huh. with maps, right? Uh, but to get that right scale, you need to be able to build to world height now. Otherwise, the machine I would have had to like bury deep in the earth to have <laughs> the right size. It, so like you know, I feel like working at the scale is part of us taking advantage of the the new con, uh, the the new structure, the new the sky, game. new size, yeah, yeah, new sky limit, new dig limit, you know. 
I'm just trying to do better. That's all I. That's all I. I that's all I am at the moment. That's all you like, can do, right? Every I just want to do better. better than I did before, and I just built a and giant castle, and you know, like, bigger doesn't always mean better. Be better is better, you know. Like yeah, you could be better in different ways. So yeah, plenty of different that's... ways to push yourself. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> that's all I can say. I'm very trying. Are we wrapping it up? I think. I, I've uh, I've run out of picks, so yeah. yeah, I'm on my last pick. So normally I'd say I'll, I'll stick around, but uh, we've already been go. I, I've been streaming for Ooh. three and a half hours now. And yeah, I no, fatigue. Yeah, yeah. You guys are great right. here. This is a huge time savings. Thank you. Oh, you're very. <gasps> okay. Save yourself. I don't think I can. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm Where gonna did die. You go? Do you need a totem? Oh, she's fine. She made that's, it out. Look at them. Fine. Were you just MLG standing there flying skills. Me, Tango? No, I actually just went down there to try and save you. I thought you went down in the, in the <laughs> hole there, but you didn't need saving. I, I, I did. I, I genuinely did. Briefly. Briefly. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay. Okay. Um... Flying is difficult. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to head off to my own stream then and uh, say goodbye to yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I will do the same thing. Wrap up a little chit chatting. Yeah. Guys, thank you is so anyone, much. Are, are either of you sticking around? Not for not for no. long, no. Just okay, to say so goodbye to my folks. Just, I'll send yeah. them to other people then. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. Thanks so much, Tango, for having us. Bye. Okay. Uh. Hey, made it out of the hole. Made it out of the hole. You got fleeing down. That's basically decked out. Thank you guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm always slightly sorry about the uh, the lack of talking to chat. Um, I could see what you were saying, and I, I, I try and read. Um, we'll get back to my base, and then H H H is so awesome. Well, I'm glad you enjoy. Uh. Okay. I want to know how he's made that wind whistling sound that I can't hear right now. A few stream loops purchases. I can't see those um, right now. So I'm going to stop here. Let's. If you've done stream loops stuff, thank you very much. I'm assuming it's the typicals. Um, I will refund people that did uh, non HHH stuff. On on stream loots, I can see. Hello, kitty. Um, so let's scroll back. Um, wow, that that's 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 a lot. Uh, no, no, no. Still, go there we go. Kitsu has subscribed. Welcome to the horde. Uh, Emil cheered biddies. Twilight Pueo cheered biddies twice. Echo cheered biddies. My brother has a stamp that says Josh approved and it's all right. Okay. We'll see. And there's Tango. Um, Renegade Sai has resubscribed for two months. Thank you very much. Scorpia has resubscribed for 60 months. Thanks for the great streams and videos. May the great zombie deliver unto you many minions, like a couple of them, maybe. Oyenda cheered biddies. Uh, digital modeling of excavations and site design. Perfect. I know exactly what that was in reference to, too. Uh, Van Vanilla Koala has subscribed at tier three. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. Nursing Geek cheered biddies. Axmax cheered. 5,000 biddies, wow. Uh, Bakura cheered biddies, thank you. Misty Wolf cheered biddies. Uh, Soikles resubscribed for 15 months. Do I spy a hype train? I don't know, probably. Um, Amberwood has resubscribed for 15 months. G Castle has resubscribed for 8 months. Eagle has subscribed. Uh, Venom's Rage has resubscribed. Cle saying Cleo is the best. I agree. Um, <laughs> Jim, the... Oh, I'm just wrapping up. Uh, at this point, um, Jim13 cheered biddies. Scar did come up with the creeper pank. Paleo cheered biddies. Real Crafty has subscribed. Welcome to the horde. If you look to your left and to your right, you'll see there are no exits. Uh, Scar has just raided. We are just on our way out, Scar. <laughs> ah. Lone Drifter has resubscribed. Desert uh, Rosette Marie has resubscribed for 10 months. Okay. 
like scar thank you for the stream <laughs> thank you for the raid thank you for the raid um we are literally on our way out um <laughs> You know what? I will do a brief, brief uh, tour around my base. We're going, we're going to, we're going through the nether. Uh, not a server tour. I'm, I'm going to show you what's going on in my base and, and, and we'll do that stuff like that. Uh, I need to get out of here. There is a, a hole in the wall in I yellow. I playing uh, the game Stray today. And, so I think and Tango, I'm, I'm aware. He's, he's playing Stray, which is a game of... There we go. Now we've muted Tango. I'm going to bop him on my way past. Bop. Ow. <laughs> Not supposed to. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you, Raiders. I do appreciate you. We were just wrapping up HHH today. Um, but I, I do appreciate you. Oh, in Scar's build. Uh, Scar did not hot guy anyone today, right, at this particular moment. Uh, Desert Rosemary subscribed for 10 months. Thank you very much. And where is my base? Oh my god, the the lag, the low. Really, I've never seen it this far, this this bad. The lag, but that's fine. Um, I don't know what this building is for. I'm sure it's a B dubs thing, but that's fine. Okay. Like with how slow things are loading in. Um. I'm concerned. There is my little gravel shop that Joe says he doesn't know existed. It's there. It's there. Um, okay. Things seem to be picking up. I don't know what's happened at spawn to, to make it so bad. So this is my base. When it loads in. I have done a lot of work on my creative server on this. Um, hang on. Da -da -da. Thank you for the screeches. Um, this is my, this is my, uh, this is the sort of level of detail I want to have in every corner of my base, like with all the armor stand work. Thank you. Um, and obviously like that. Um, King Ren's castle is going inside the box. Ah, that makes sense. Right. So shut up. <laughs> I hate that thing. The seahorses look awesome. Thank you. They took me some time. So what's gonna ha what's gonna be happening in my next video? So it's sneak peekies, sneaky peekies. Um, thank you. We've got a a walkway going along in blue along that sort of level. There's gonna be. I heard it fall. Where have I respawned? Okay, I've respawned here. Let's let's go to sleep. <laughs> Uh thing is, I heard that one fall, so I knew it was a real creeper. But at that point, there's literally nothing you can do. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all my gubbins. Let's go, team. Right, important things. My super sneaky legs. And... All my shulkers, because that's my blackstone shulkers. My boots, my pants, all the shulkers. All the shulkers. Shulkers are very important. I need the blackstone shulkers desperately. Um, is there anything else? I think I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Ah, I knocked out side of my building! Yeah. Um, pants, blackstone there. Blackstone. Blackstone. I've got all my Blackstone boxes back. We're good. We are good. Got my, my, my swift sneaky pants, which I haven't used really <laughs> much yet. No! <laughs> pickaxe, 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 pickaxe. Hi! Thanks, Cub, for, 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 for raiding. It's appreciated. I am trying to... Why do the hermits always, always end together? Always end together. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Cub. <laughs> Everyone's finishing and raiding at the same time. Thank you. That's amazing. I'm I'm kind of shocked that everyone's just gone. You know who we should raid? Cleo. 
We should re we should raid Cleo so she can't stop ever. Okay, let's tr let's try this again. Let's try not getting blown up by a creeper. Oh, look at all that. Oh no, there's more shulkers there. Shut up! <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. Hypno is on too. If Hypno stops and then raids, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cranky pants. Okay, let's get rid of the concrete and the thing. To get just, oh, it was another black. Okay, it was another blackstone box. That's good. Oh, my base, my base. Uh, Twenty-four hour stream. No, <laughs> you're not allowed to do that to me. I was wrapping up. I was wrapping up. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I do need to actually fix that stuff at some point. You know what? I don't. I don't need those. I don't... <laughs> Jesus, thank you. Tango just finished. Well, Tango knew I was leaving. So of course Tango didn't Aww. raid me. <sighs> okay, okay. So let's let's discuss what I was I'm doing with my base. Like, because this is the thing, and then we're gonna thing. And thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to Scar. It's appreciated. Moon Elf Gazer, and thank you for resubscribing. Okay. So there is going to be a blue walkway, like 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 there's there's um what do you call them? Warp Nillium, Warp Nillium logs that have been stripped going across this way. There is going to be a, a another tower down here, like a semicircle tower. And it goes up to about here and there's a pointy roof also in the Nillium because everything's apparently Nillium and Blackstone. There are massive Blackstone pillars coming up from all the way around here um, up to the walkway. So to support the walkway... I'm here because you scared the star half tango. I did I what when I booped him? <laughs> Gradient looking great. Thank you. It's 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 a work in progress. I'm not 100 percent with it, but fine. It's Aww. going to have like a four-way curvy roof on top. There's going to be massive windows in this wall. There's going to be some windows over here and a nice sort of like like cross-shaped window up the top. There's going to be like dozens of little windows because that there is one floor going across there there's going to be another floor going here so yeah that's 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 my base that's that's a base <laughs> my best minecraft stream can't wait to stay for a few hours no literally that's all you got that's all you got i hate all of you i hate all of you so much <laughs> shifty 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 pumpkins gifted 20 gift subs to the shut up to the community, thank you so much. Uh, say goodbye to Archimedes. Let me look at uh, like I'm gonna I'm gonna send people on. I'm gonna send people on to somebody who maybe wouldn't expect this. Maybe um, you know what? Uh, I am gonna send you to. I'm gonna send you to Hypno. Hypno uh, is playing Raft, which is a nice little survival game. I played it for the first time ever. Um, and <laughs> Cam is just making you. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to Scars and Cubs and all that. And thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the subs and gifts and donos and all that sort of stuff. You are wonderful. And I will see you lot next time. <laughs>